Hello, hello. Hello. Welcome to my stream. Happy Saturday night. Happy Saturday night. Hmm. 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 One moment. Be right back. I'm still here. I'm still here. I just need to, um, pick something here for a second. Okay. Yeah, it seems a bit better. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm back. Okay, that should be good. Mm. You know what? Good enough. Okay. Um, mm, one moment, actually. Um, I guess it's fine. Yeah, sure. Whatever. <laughs> Okay, um, <laughs> gonna pull my stream up on my phone here. There we go. All good, all good. Um, yeah, so hello, welcome, welcome to my stream. Um, I do maybe tweak that a little bit. Um, happy Saturday, happy Saturday. It is Saturday, the spooky night, because that's what I because I said so. Um, and also because, sorry, I'm fixing my microphone and it might make noise. Um, also because Saturday is objectively the spookiest day. I don't make the rules. That's just the way it is. Um, we talked about this last time though, so. <laughs> um, hmm. 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 Actually, hold on. Hold on again. Hold on again. Want to fix this once more. Um, okay, that should be good, I think. Yeah, okay. All right, all right, I'm good, I'm good. We're back, we're back. Um, that's a little bit better. <sighs> anyway, um... Um, Saturday night, spooky, spooky games, um, because that's what Saturdays are for. I really like, I, I kind of want to make, I don't know, like a video, maybe even post on my YouTube or like a TikTok, um, at some point here, kind of like explaining just like the way I want to hold Saturday night for spooky games, right? Like I, okay. So back up, back up, <laughs> gotta tell the story properly. Um, so even though I wasn't streaming this week. Um, like, you know, I was like a little bit stressed in the early part. I've been really stressed lately and I don't know why I have like no good reason to be stressed. I feel really good, but, um, I'm still for some reason secretly stressed inside. My brain is somehow stressed. I don't know why. Um, but like maybe, maybe like I really like my new apartment and everything and it makes me really happy, but, um, like maybe I'm still subconsciously just not, um, you know, um, this is from Ori and the Blind Forest, isn't it? Yeah, 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 it is. Okay. <laughs> what a good... I, I didn't play much of the game, um, but I very much enjoyed the part that I played. Anyway, um, and the music hits hard. Anyway, um, yeah, I think maybe I'm not comfortable yet in my apartment, right? Like, because it's not, it doesn't feel like home for a while, you know, and maybe it's just, um that and i moved to a different part of the city than i lived in before right so um you know i was just passing by actually the part of the city i used to live in um a little bit ago and i was like wow that's um feels weird you know like i felt like oh i'm gonna go back there here soon but like i'm not <laughs> i don't I actually don't know when i'll be back in that part of town like ever again maybe um so it's really weird to just you know, leave that part behind. Um, is my 
tracking weird today? I don't know. For some reason, it just feels off. But maybe it's fine. Anyway, um, I feel like VC face, like, changes things on its own on me a lot. I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, but yeah, so I think, like, I haven't, like, part of my brain still feels like, you know, my old apartment is home, and I haven't quite adjusted to this one yet and even though most of my thinking is like oh yeah i live here and i'm really happy here um i'm not super comfortable here yet and i have not like my brain hasn't come to terms with the fact i'm living here yet right i mean it's been like a couple months but um i know it's still just it takes it takes longer than that i mean it took a really long time for me to feel at home in my last apartment even then it doesn't feel like home uh, like places before feel like home that my last apartment honestly never really did but um even then like <laughs> feels way more like home than this apartment so um you know it's just uh it's just gonna take some time it's just gonna take some time I think. um and maybe that stress is kind of what's underlying some of it and and the expense of moving you know like financially you start to feel the pressure and, you know, it just, I don't know. Um, but, and I've been really busy lately, so maybe that's part of it as well. Just kind of, like, adding on. But I really, last year I wasn't streaming as much, um, when I was getting busy. And, um, I'm, I, I don't know. I think I, because I also got stuck playing, I was playing games that I wasn't super into, which was part of the issue. Um, and I was just, you know, really busy and everything. But um, this year, like, I really, really, really want to keep on top of streaming because, I don't know, I'm re really having fun with it. I really like it. Um, you know, it's, I mean, is it going super well? I, like, you know, I was like, viewer count high? Like, not really, but <laughs> um, I just like streaming anyway, you know? Um, so I will continue to do that because it's fun. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Um and it's been really good, so um, I want to make sure I keep that up and don't tell myself that, like, when I'm getting really busy, that that's something I should cut out of my life um, to make myself, you know, be less stressed because I don't think that'll help. I really enjoy streaming and, um, you know, I, th I think that'll, it's one of the positives in my life, right? Um, like, work gets really stressful, but streaming is fun, so we'll just keep doing that part. Um... But yeah, so what else? Um, oh yeah, so I was, um, you know, still kind of making, um, watching through videos. I still don't have anything up on YouTube that I wanted to put up, but I um, have been making some more TikToks and stuff um, and re-watching some VODs and things. And um, so, you know, I've been been uh, been productive. Um, and uh, even when I was out of town, I was working on stuff. I've been, um, so I've been doing, like, you know, planning out, right? I wrote, like, a, I was doing everything in a notebook because um, I uh, didn't, because, you know, like, when you're traveling, you don't always have a lot of time to, like, charge your phone and stuff, depending on what your schedule is. So I wanted to make sure I um, didn't wear down my phone battery too much. So I um, was, uh, like, wrote everything out, like, a little calendar out, right, in, like, a notebook and everything. And I was like planning out what I'm going to, what I'm, what I'm going to stream, when I'm going to stream. I'm really like, um, doing the, you know, doing the calculations, running the calculations on um, those Life is Strange streams because I'm a little bit, you know, a little bit concerned about that to be honest. Um, if I can get through all of them before October 15th, and uh, <laughs> it doesn't look like I'm even close to being able to do that so we're just gonna stream I'm gonna maybe stream a ton extra because again streaming's been feeling pretty good going pretty well I think I can do longer streams if I take breaks um which like I feel bad about but um you know if anyone's upset hey get a longer stream out of it so a little five to ten minute break every couple hours means you know a couple more hours stream beyond that whereas if I don't take a break maybe you get half an hour out of me right so it's, it's, it's a give and take. It's fair. Um, I'm just not... I just need to build up my stamina. I'm a little baby streamer, okay? <laughs> I can't... I can't do, like, 10-hour streams easy peasy. Um, you know, some streamers might be able to do that, but I just... I can't. I can't do that. Um, 
So, um, I, uh... What is up with this? I don't know. My, my tracking feels weird today, but what can you do? What can you do? Um, hmm. What? Sorry, I don't know. It just feels, that's, feels really off. Hmm. Hmm. I almost wonder if I should reload the calibration and maybe that's... Well, you know, we'll just deal with it, okay? If it's weird, it's weird. <laughs> that's, um, that's just the way it's gonna be, okay? Sometimes it's like that. Sometimes, and I need, I need to learn to let go, you know? I need to learn that it's not gonna be perfect and that's okay. It's okay. You don't have to be perfect, Cell. You don't have to be perfect. Um, uh... What was I going to say? Um, oh, but yeah, so the Life is Strange streams, um, I think maybe I'm going to try to go for some longer ones. Like maybe tomorrow I'm going to try to stream a bit earlier before five and make it a longer stream. Um, then I might stream a couple hours Monday night even to, to try to get to try to get these streams in because I, I really want to finish before October 15th. Um, but um, I'm going to still hold Saturday night Saturday nights for spooky games like that's just the way it's gonna be I need I need I need my scary games I need my horror games I I need them <laughs> I need them in the lineup it's very important to me um so uh um the life of strange strange streams will just go around it and if I have to stream more then I have to stream more and that's just the way it's gonna be though I think the first game is the longest out of all of them um and uh like, it looks like maybe, like, I think the time to beat said, no, it took me, like, 27 hours, something like that. Um, probably less if you take out, like, the chit-chat at the beginning of the streams, but it was, like, 27-ish hours. Um, and it's supposed to take, like, 18, um, for the kind of, like, click on everything method that I did. Um, but I also might have been clicking on everything a little bit extra. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so 18 hours and it took me 27. So then I kind of did the comparison and like saying, okay, well, that's about like 150%, right? Um, so I think uh, before the storm is supposed to be 13 hours. So that'll probably take me like 18. And then um, uh, Life is Strange 2 is like 16 hours. Um, so that'll take me closer to like 24 hours maybe. And then um, uh, True Colors is also 13. So, True Colors and Before the Storm, they're like, I don't know, what is that, um, like 70%-ish, maybe, of, um, a little, a little more, 75%, maybe, of, um, what, uh, Life is, um, Life is Strange 1 is. So, those are much shorter, and even Life is Strange 2 is a little bit shorter, apparently. So, um... That's good. That's good. So, like, it took me a really long time, many streams, to beat the first game here and to finish it all the way through. But um, these next games are shorter. The first one was the longest, so that's good. That's good. Um, which is also very interesting that the short, the first one is the longest one. You'd think that some of the others would be longer, but hmm, who knows why? Um, not gonna say the games would be getting worse, but you know, eh, we'll see. Um, we'll see when Double Exposure comes out, how we, again, I don't have high hopes, but we're going to play it anyway. Um, but then I really want to play that one by October 15th and really also like kind of power through that game. Just, it'd be different if, if I had, if I was excited for it, right? If I had like higher hopes for it. Um, but honestly, I don't really. So, um... I don't really feel bad kind of powering my way through that one because then we want to get to Halloween. And I was thinking about fun things to do for Halloween and just like, you know, I don't know, not even just stream things, but just like internet things to do for like TikTok or whatever. Um, and trying to be like, what are fun things to do? Because especially if you play horror games like all year, um, like you, you got to do something extra special for Halloween. You can't just keep playing the scary games some more, right? And like even playing more of them, that's not good enough. You have to, you have to do something, something bigger, something better, something cooler, something scarier. I don't know, something. Um, so I need to figure out what what I want to do, right? Um, 
and I was planning that and um, it was really fun kind of trying to trying to come up with things. So we'll see. I have some ideas. I have some ideas. I don't know that they'll be that much fun, to be honest, but, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see. There's a lot of hours of streaming. Life is strange between now and then. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, I... What is... What is up with this tracking? I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Hmm kind of weird there's like one mouth movement that is not i don't use that often but keeps showing up a lot more here i don't i don't like it i don't like it um but you know i don't know how to fix it so <sighs> just the way it is just the way it is hmm okay um It's being weird again. Hold on. Um, it just doesn't blink. And I don't know why it doesn't blink. One moment. Hold on. I don't- this is just kind of weird. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. I don't... I don't know how to get these settings right, because, of course, they change, like, every single day. Um... Whatever, okay. It's fine, it's fine, whatever, 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 there we go. Whatever, whatever, it's fine. <sighs> okay, um... You have to relearn your tracking and rigging, like, every stream. It's so frustrating. Um... It's fine. I mean, that's one thing a lot of people, you know, I mean, I a lot of people who watch my stream, um, have, like, you know, VTuber models of their own, and they, they stream a bit. Um... But, uh, if you don't stream, um, and you're not a VTuber, like, you don't really realize, you know, all the different, um, uh, all the different things you kind of need to do sometimes to, like, trigger certain facial expressions, and you have to be way more, um, emotive than you normally would be to, uh, get a lot of, um, a lot out of the model, I suppose. And obviously you can do way more the more custom your model is, um, or, or, I guess also depending what tracking software you use, there's like some limitations I know with like VC face. Although I do want to change some things. So I never use the sad expression and I kind of want to um, uh, redo that to be a different expression since I never actually use it. Because um, it's also hard to trigger as well. Like if I'm actually making a sad face, um, it's hard for that to register and pick up. And it's also um, not really a very interesting face like i don't even know how I, it's really hard to to trigger that um with like an actual sad expression even if you exaggerate it and it, again the expression isn't that interesting i don't know uh, i want to redo like it says sad but i'll just you know rename it something else to myself i don't know what expression i want though i need to figure out what i'm lacking um but you know but you really only have like the what five six something like that um 
how many is it again? Oh, I guess I'm not gonna be able to see while well, I have my model up. But um uh let's see, two, three, I think it's five. Five or six, I think five. Um oh six, I think if you include neutral. Um uh different expressions you can do, but but like you still have to be very, you know, expressive and a very emotive um facially and it was kind of weird i was um talking to people like irl the other week and i felt my face making the exaggerated expressions that i use when streaming and it was really weird um <laughs> it, was, it was so strange i was like oh no i must look like a crazy person um stream clearly i've been streaming a little too much recently maybe because um it was, it was i was like oh no no, it's kicking in, it's kicking in, it's becoming too natural um, to uh, to do the streaming face. <laughs> um, but uh, but anyway, um, but yeah, I'm planning a bunch of stuff out. I'm super excited for all the stuff I'm kind of got going. Um, well, I don't even have them going, but but I, the ideas I have had, right? The ideas I have that have come to my mind uh, are. I don't know. I'm not even excited about them. I don't think they would turn out very well is the problem. So, um, you know, uh, we'll, we'll see how they go. Um, but in theory, they'd be really, really cool if they turned out well. So, <laughs> we'll see how they actually turn out. Um, but, um, but yeah. And then I've been kind of thinking, especially like as I was, you know, planning... Halloween stuff and you know planning out all my life is strange streams while trying to hold Saturday for horror and stuff and it just kind of reminded me um uh again like and asking for horror game recommendations and everything a lot of people I mean I would say like a lot of people most people they I don't know why they would know obviously they wouldn't know um but like my old channel before I um streamed with my VTuber um, I streamed on Twitch and then also I made YouTube videos as well. Um, and, uh, and I was also on, um, on TikTok. Um, I had, uh, like, I don't know, um, little over a dozen followers on TikTok maybe. Um, so like not that big and, you know, um, just like, I don't know, several hundred on YouTube and, um, I forget what my numbers on Twitch are. I have to check that account again. Um, I haven't been on it in a few years. Um, but, uh, but you know, but like I streamed horror stuff. That was kind of, I mean, I was variety, of course, still. Um, but I did horror. And that was what I did on YouTube as well. As I um, posted like um, uh, research kind of on horror topics and um, scary stories and things. Um, and I played, posted VODs of, you know, horror streams and stuff, but I mostly played horror games, um, was what I did as, um, you know, a, uh, face cam flesh tuber. Um, I, uh, I, I did horror things. That was like my thing since like, uh, even in 20, uh, 2014, maybe even 2013, I think I kind of started started but really it was 2014 yeah 2014 by the time I got around to actually trying um I never posted them but I made you know I made like let's plays and stuff and there were four um horror games and then um I uh when I started streaming in regularly in 2016 then my first stream was 2015 um and I started streaming regularly in 2016 and it was horror content um first most of my first games were horror games and like i said variety though variety though so i played a few other things but um but yeah like so it's not like i don't know any horror games like i've i've i i do know quite a bunch and i've played a bunch of them um and uh you know so so like i played a bunch of um well i don't want to list them all partly because i'm going to forget some but and then i'll be frustrated later <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, but I, I like horror games and that's like, was always my, um, staple, you know, staple content, um, staple game that I would always go back to and play. Um, but I've been kind of, you know, doing a slightly different angle, um, on, uh, on this account just because I didn't want to, you know, 
do just horror. I don't know. It felt I kind of got horrored out on my old channel and um, old account and everything, and I was just like, I don't know. I I wanted more variety, and I felt I felt like I um, niched myself in too much, right? Like it's really easy to do that when you um, start playing a bunch of one type of content and if you just you know don't vary it for a while you kind of lock yourself in um and you feel like you're like oh i gotta stick to the brand this is my brand now and um i just you know gotta remind myself that i always said i'm a variety streamer um variety content and as much as that's like apparently like a dumb idea <laughs> but um so i'm kind of like you know uh variety streamer but i have like a certain a certain vibe i feel like a certain vibe here on um twitch.tv slash celestine steel right like i feel like we have a vibe there's 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 a type of game that we play uh and um i and i i think i think that's fairly well established i think i think maybe um and i don't branch out too much so i don't think people will find things that they like and then things that they absolutely hate i feel like a lot of the content will cross appeal to different people perhaps so that's kind of the the goal here but but i still have to i still come back to my horror games because those are those are my favorite really um i don't know there's just something about a nice you know weird weird little horror game that i love um i uh yeah, that's, I just, I gotta, I gotta play them, and, um, that's why I decided to, but I don't, I don't want to go too much into them, right? I don't want to make my same mistakes as last time and go to full horror, so I'm, um, reserving Saturdays for horror games. And that's, uh, that's it, you know? That's, that's the way it's, it's gonna be, Saturdays are horror games, and, um, maybe, maybe other days too sometimes if I don't have other games to play for the other days of the week but but I don't want to don't want to do too much horror right don't want to lock myself in um to the horror niche the scary games subcategory and, and be stuck there for forever um I do want to play other games too so you know um but yeah um but I do enjoy then reserving my time for scary games the way and Saturdays, like I said, Saturdays are the day for scary, scary games, and um, I feel completely comfortable with making that. But then it's also gonna, I want to try to make these be longer streams because I like um, playing for longer um, because I do like my horror games. So that's the plan. That's the plan. And also, like I said, want to play through a lot of the games that I haven't played, um, and uh, and also revisit some of the games that I have, like um, games I haven't beaten, like. Um, welcome to the game. I never ended up beating that. I don't know why that was such a challenge. <laughs> it feels like it should. I don't know. I don't know if other people beat it really easy. I don't know if it's supposed to be an easy game or not. Um, but it was a challenge for me. I thought actually it was probably the scariest. Um, I, most of these games like, you know, aren't really scary, but that one I actually thought was kind of scary. <laughs> Killer comes at your door. It's so scary. Scary. Um, well, it's not scary when he's at your door. Well, it kind of is a little. It's a little unnerving. But like when you when he's right beside you and jumps up on. I. Oof. <laughs> when you're like locked in at the computer and then you turn around and be like, oh, better go check on the door. And then all of a sudden, um, you know, there's someone there. Either that or the ninja who comes through the window or whatever he is, right? The assassin who comes through the window or um, the uh, the serial killer or um, you know I don't know whoever. Uh, they are that when you turn around and they're right next to you, it is terrifying. Um, I don't know. Those are the the scariest of jump scares to me. Other horror games, not that scary, but that one got me. That one got me a few times. Um, so that has a um high, highly rated uh, in the scary category. Good good scary points from from me. Um. And, uh, but I never beat it, though, right? So, um, because I feel like there's a lot of that game to memorize and learn, um, sort of. I don't know, I had people in my chat who were kind of helping me out, who were very familiar with the game, um, and I was learning a lot, but, and I was getting close. I was getting so close, but, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, that was a long time ago, so. 
We'll see how I do now, but I'd like to try to play that at some point as well and, and beat that and then play Welcome to the Game 2 because I never even played that one because I never finished the first one because I'm like, I don't know, a loser or something. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I want to play that one, um, and, uh, uh, hmm. Are there other games I have played but haven't beaten? I don't think, I think I've played, uh, I don't think I, I don't know if I beat Visage all the way through or not. I was, like, almost at the end, though. And it was like that thing where like I realized after stream that I only had a little bit left and I was like, oh, well, I don't know if I want to, you know, start it with a whole whole new stream just to finish the tail end of this game. Um, and uh, and I didn't think it was that scary. Everyone really hyped up Visage when it first came out, right? Everyone was like, oh my gosh, this game is so scary. But um, I, I didn't think it was. Like, it was okay. It was, you know, your normal scary game. Um... It was scarier than some, like, um, Layers of Fear, right? That one wasn't that scary. Um, all that telephone part drove me crazy. I don't, I could didn't realize what they wanted me to do. <laughs> um, that's what, that's my takeaway from Layers of Fear. Um, I just didn't know what I was supposed to do. Um, but, uh... But yeah, Visage was a little bit scarier than that, but I didn't think it was that scary still. Um, and uh, I don't know. I, I Props to all the other like gamers um, who stream or post content of scary games and like actually act scared. Um, I can't. I'm not good at faking it. I can't. I can't. I mean, I'm assuming most of them are faking it because, you know, I don't think that's scary. Um, and, uh, good on them for, for being able to do that. I can't, I, that's, I can't act that. I'm sorry. I just, I can't. I'm not good enough. <laughs> I, feel, I feel so silly doing it. Um, you know, I, I exaggerate things a little bit for stream, but I can't do more than a slight exaggeration. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And I know it's really sad for me to be like, oh, I love my horror games and they're my favorite type of game. And then I'm like... I'm not a great horror reactor. <laughs> You're not going to see the crazy reactions from me, and I feel so bad about that. It's, I'm not talented in <laughs> this category, <laughs> but I do like them. And I, I stream for me, you know, and my own enjoyment and the fact that I find it fun. And you know what? If I'm not good at screaming and acting scared to get people to watch me, then too bad. You know, too bad. Then, then they just won't watch me, and that's okay okay i'm i'm not doing it for, for for them i'm doing it for me and that's okay i've come to that realization a long long time ago <laughs> um okay let's get into the game though shall we shall we I'm done with that whatever that song was um okay so we're starting with uh closing shift so up on the docket tonight we have three more chillas art games um we have the closing shift is what i'm i think this is the one i'm most excited about um just from like i read a few like i said lists online that um ranked these and uh, a lot of the ones were kind of high that i thought were not as good like i've seen like the karaoke was ranked pretty consistently high and i've seen a little bit of that though and i uh, I don't know. Wasn't too into that one. Um, but, uh, but the closing shift was ranked kind of high, I feel, by some, not all, some of them. And I don't know, I feel, I don't, I just, I have a good feeling about this one. Like, just the, I don't know. From what I know of them, I'm most excited for this one. Um, but then I also, I'm going to play after the closing shift. I think we're going to play Missing Children. Um, which I've seen on some lists uh, mentioned, but not on all, so I'm not sure. Seems like one of the shorter ones. And then Night Security, which I had also on the list for last time as well, um, but we never got around to play um, last weekend. So we'll see that. I'm I'm not so sure how I feel. I, I, I don't know. Night Security seems like... I don't know. It, it's... 
you know, if I want to be a security guard at night, I'm going to turn off an app, which by the way, by the way, um, super dark secret here. I've never beaten a FNAF game and I've only played FNAF 1, by the way. <laughs> uh, when I played it, I think only uh, FNAF 1, 2, and Sister Location were out by that point. And I was like, oh, time to start playing playing FNAF. Um, and uh, I played the first one and um, I did not enjoy the jump scares, right? Again, it, it doesn't get a reaction out of me, but it does. Um, deep down inside, I do react and I did not enjoy the jump scares and it felt the game felt more stressful than fun and I didn't really enjoy it. <laughs> But I also didn't really know how to play. Uh, so that might have been part of it. Um, so I think I would like to revisit at least FNAF 1 and give it another shot and see if um, it's better now. Now that I'm older and wiser, if maybe it's a little bit better, right? So we'll see. Um, okay, let me get our game up here. Take a drink while it's loading. Hmm. Okay, closing shift. Closing shift. Okay. Um, I don't know if the volume's good. Hmm. Maybe a little louder. That should be fine. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe a little. Maybe? Hmm. I don't know how loud loud noises are gonna be. You know, that's that's always the issue, right, with, with these games is you have a lot of the like quiet background noise, but then when it gets loud, how loud will that be? Okay. Um, hold on one moment. Closing shift. Okay. There we go. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful. Um. Okay, let's switch over. Perfect. New game. Hmm. I've never worked at a coffee shop or anything like that. Oh no, I'll be late for work. Tab is inventory, wonderful, shift. C is crouch, oh, we're gonna need to change that. Should be on my car by now. Ah, eh, sure. We don't need perfect English around here. Um, oh, I haven't even checked mouse sensitivity. Let me change this though there we go it's better okay now i'm happy texture quality once again i think we can i think we can do a little bit better uh hard and soft shadows yes vhs filter yes oh but is there a head bob head bob head bob no okay um all right and then i gotta check mouse sensitivity Brightness? I think the brightness is probably okay. Yes, as usual. Oh, oops. A little too, little too sensitive. Um. This is fine. Actually, you know what? Turn sensitivity down just a teeny tiny bit more. Oops, there we go. Okay. All right. That's yeah, that that feels good. That feels good. Okay. Hmm. Cute plant, air conditioner, nice. Really tall ceilings. Oh, because it's um a cool loft up there. I want to look at what it looks like. Hmm. Cute little place, I guess. 
there's our body. Um, reflection, nice clean, clean floors. A little too clean, if you ask me. I don't think they should be that shiny. Waxed a little bit too too much, I think. Cup of coffee. Can I drink that? I would like to drink the coffee, please. Am I dressed for work? Probably. I work at the coffee shop, right? Oh, look, here's my little kitchenette. Um, feels very Japan. Even though we have this... I mean, I guess that might be a futon up there. Probably, actually. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I mean, I guess. Furniture's not, like, screaming Japanese at us, but this sure is. <laughs> wow. Okay. Food? Nope. Nope. Cook? Wash my hands before I leave? Nope. Oh, we've already closed the door. Put my shoes on? No? Bathroom? Oh, wow. Yeah. Kind of a soaking tub situation. Yeah. I guess leave the apartment. Am I going to put my shoes on? Good, I put my shoes on. Wonderful. All right, here we go. Going to work. What's over here? Oh. They have the nice place. Well, maybe not. Eh. I don't know. It's not that great. Look at these nice stone, uh, brickish... Again, a little too shiny. A little, a little too shiny. What's that music? That person's house? Huh. It's blocked off. Someone down below? Oh, here it is. Someone's phone. Probably should have just left it there. I don't know where to take it. Santori cheap. Did I see this in another game? There was phone away. Um, which way is work? Oh, not that way. Hmm. Oh, is this my car? Am I driving to work? Why does it have it? Oh, I need to get on this side. Maybe. Why does it have an arrow? I feel like this is my car. What am I supposed to do with it? Um. Do I need to get keys? Do, were there keys in my apartment? There were probably keys in my apartment. Oh my gosh. Don't tell me I have to drive to work again. Oh my, I... Driving in the radio station was wild. Is this my apartment? No. Up more, maybe? Over here. Is this my apartment? No, up more? No, this was definitely my level. Okay, maybe I'm not the last one over. Uh-oh, okay. Sorry, it kind of glitched there. Wasn't great. Um... Yeah, this is definitely fine. 
What am I supposed to do? Is it the fact that I have a phone? Is that a problem? Oh. I didn't really even see him there. Wow. Maybe it's too dark. Maybe I should turn up the brightness. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, let's turn up the brightness a little bit. Just a little bit. Well, I found this. Gimme me it. Okay. There you go, sir. You're welcome. Now can I go to work? This is my car. I knew it. Go to work. Why am I like the only one of the only people in the building with a car? Oh, look. This is cute. This is cute. Look at all the lights. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. I work at like the cutest place ever. Look, there it is. Not Starbucks. Oh, probably over here. Yeah. No. That's the bathroom. Oh, over. Here? Is there no door? Oh, right here. Okay. I'm just blind, apparently. Put my stuff away and talk to Senpai. Oh, okay. Senpai. Oh. Trash item, what? I don't understand. There we go. Put my phone in there. Now to talk to Senpai. Sorry I'm late. Unahashi Senpai says, Be careful. Next time I'm going to tell the manager. I'm very sorry. I'll be careful. Being careful is not enough. Tell me you won't be late. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I will not be late again. You also mess up some orders, don't you? If you have any trouble with the order, there are some tutorial videos for you, so look through it. Okay, I'll take a look. Oh, and one more thing. Make sure you leave your phone in the locker. You better not be texting anyone during work. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Funahashi, Fukahashi, Senpai, whatever it was. Okay, these are my tutorial videos. Probably should do that now, because when I talk to Senpai number two, Things will probably start ramping up. Um. Wow, this is how you actually have to watch it. You don't get like a zoom up view or anything. Okay, hold on. I want to start over. I wasn't paying attention. I thought I could get a better view, but apparently you can't. This is it. Okay, you take out the food, put it there. We'll put it in the bag, then then you leave it there. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay, simple enough. Hot drink tutorial. Okay. Okay. You get a cup. Oh, those are the orders, I guess. The little slips of paper, maybe? Okay. Get some milk. You steam the milk. Put espresso in the cup, and you steam it, and then you put the milk in, and then you take it over there. Put a lid on it. 
Um, and then it's done. Okay. What was this again? Cold drinks, maybe? Yeah, okay. There's the cup. You put the espresso in. You add the ice into the blender. And then you blend up the ice. And you put the milk in the cup with the espresso and then you put the ice in and then you put a shot in and then you and then you do something and you put a lid on okay it's probably good enough okay let's go talk to our other senpai hmm are these all the supplies Oh, these are like fuses and stuff. Oh no, there's a customer. Did you say chill as coffee? I've never been to one of those fancy places before. I feel uneasy. There's something strange about this place. My daughter seems to be a fan of this place, and now I'm here. However, er, I'll leave the drinks to you. Oh, and I'd like to get two of them. Would you want a latte and a coffee? Oh, that'll be just fine. It's really uncomfortable here. However, can you? how can you charge such a price for something like this? Sorry, prices are set by corporate. Okay. Um. Coffee. Just coffee. And latte coffee plus steamed milk. Okay, I can do that, I think. Um, oh, right there. There you go. Here's your coffee, sir. Um, Oh, right, this needs to go on here, right? Probably. Okay. Sticker needs to go on the cup. And the lid. Um, here. Oh, wait, why? Oops, I didn't put the sticker on. Uh-oh. Oh, no, wait, he's gone. Okay, I did it, I did it, okay. Oof. Close one, okay. What happened to my other senpai? Senpai? Hello? Hmm. I guess... Uh... Other senpai must just be busy. Another customer! Welcome! Sauron, did you hear on the news? I hear stalker cases are on the rise. It's scary. A woman like me, you see, I have to be careful. All the guys are also staring at me, so you be careful too. Well, you don't have to worry as much as I do, but you should watch out either way. She calling us ugly. Uh, dark mocha chip Chilla Puccino, please. Dark mocha chip Chilla Puccino. Okay. Sure thing. Uh. Um.
Is that the same thing as a chocolate chip chilo Fuccino? There's nothing on the back, is there? No. Okay. Um... I guess I'll just make this. I don't... Uh... Uh... Okay. I was like, maybe if I substitute something else for the chocolate sauce, but I don't think so. So I think it's just this. Um, okay. Blended ice plus coffee plus milk. Okay, that's a good start. Blended ice plus coffee plus milk. Okay. Blended ice plus coffee plus milk. Oops. Hopefully that won't be a problem. Blender, blender, blender. Oh, here we go. Here's the blender cups. Um, right there. Wait, don't blend yet. I didn't get the ice. Where's my ice? Okay. Meanwhile, I'll put the milk in the cup. Okay. Okay, and then chocolate sauce, chocolate powder. Hopefully that did it? I don't know. Okay, that did it. Okay. So it should be- have been fine when I did that. Okay. Um. Oh, can you only put the sticker on a finished order, maybe? Why did it make that noise? It's wrong? What did I do wrong? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Hopefully that went in. Yeah, I did it. Okay. I think maybe, I don't know, there might be something wrong with the ice or the two, um, two coffee things was an issue. I don't know. Oh, no. So many people. A matcha cake, please. Stop pushing me a salted caramel mocha. And I'll have a matcha chilla fuccino. Sure, man. Okay. Do that. Okay. Pumpkin cake. Uh, hot cocoa. Are you serious? I don't have any money right now. You should have said that first. Come on, I'll buy you one. What drink do you want? Yes, but... Just say it. He's got money. No, it's not like that. But really, anything is fine. Really, I want a white mocha. Okay, any food? No, uh, just a drink. Oh, come on, let's order some food. But, uh, okay, American waffles. Waffles. Uh, thanks, both of you. Hey, where are you looking at? 
Did you hear that noise? Noise? What noise? I didn't hear it either. Uh, it's probably nothing. It must be your imagination. It happens from time to time. Ha ha ha. Sis, I made up my mind. An apple pie. Will that be all? Yes, it's all. Okay. Thank goodness. They... Oh. I think you got the orders wrong. Well, good luck next time. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize they were asking me. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Okay. But now, now it's fine. Okay, wait, wait, what, what, what? Oh, my goodness. What am I making? Oh, okay, good. It tells me. <laughs> Matcha chilla puccino. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Matcha chilla puccino. What? Okay. Okay. Blended ice, milk, matcha powder, whipped cream. Okay. Blended ice, milk. We'll put it there first. Okay. Let's start with the ice, I think. Matcha powder? I really like matcha. It's a good choice. Um... Where's the whipped cream? fridge no oh, in this fridge there we go oh no what happened disappeared. Did they take it? Okay, well, whatever. Matcha chiffon cake. Okay. 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 White mocha, okay. Coffee, steam milk, white mocha sauce. Okay, that's simple. Okay. Coffee, steam milk. too many milks. Oh well, I'll use them up at some point, I'm sure. No? Oh, I didn't do the right mo- oh, I forgot the white mocha sauce. I was stressed about the milk. Dang it. Okay, I, I got this. I got this. Good thing I have all these milks on me. Oh, oh hey, comma. Okay. okay, I got this, I got this. Okay, and then now the white mocha sauce. White chocolate sauce. Right? 
There's no syrup. Yeah, okay. It's just... Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. I'll get it right this time. Yeah, okay. Next item. Pumpkin cake. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Pumpkin cake. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yep. More chilla. Oops. I didn't mean to take two. Salted caramel mocha. Okay. 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 Um, salted caramel mocha, coffee, steamed milk, caramel syrup, hazelnut syrup, and chocolate sauce. Okay. Coffee, steamed milk, and then the syrups and sauces. Okay. Steamed milk. Uh, syrup, syrup, caramel, hazelnut, and then chocolate sauce. Okay. Caramel syrup, hazelnut syrup, and chocolate sauce. Okay. okay. Gotta make sure I have the right sticker. American waffle. All right, I know where that one is. Right here. These guys ordered so much. American apple pie. Okay, I think I know where that one is. Nope. Right there. Next. Oh wait, is that it? That was it? I could have sworn they ordered more. Okay. It's fine. I guess I just did a lot of orders, so maybe maybe that was all. Oof. It feels like that's the thing about Chilla's games to me, is that it feels so weird to have to learn like the uh job mechanics. <laughs> when uh like it's a horror game but you still have to learn like the simulation part to it hmm interesting it's like a little mouse with a shooting star i don't really know don't really know what the point of the star is but it's fine oh customer i'm so sorry Here's my order. Yeah, it is, but I think um, the mechanics are like, I don't know, I, I kind of wish, not wish, but like, I feel like you don't need the details of a full, like, this plays like a simulation game, right? And then it's not, which I think is kind of weird for these games. Like, because usually in a simulation game, you learn how to make all these drinks, but the investment is larger because the game is like 10, 12, 14 hours long, if not potentially longer. Um, if it's like, you know, a free build, you know, pay money to expand your restaurant type of thing. Um, or not pay money, not like pay to play, but you know, like, you know, a simulation game where you're building your little empire, essentially. Uh, then that's different. But here, I feel like I'm learning all these mechanics for a two-hour long game, which feels like a weird investment on the learning curve. You know, like the whole game, you spend learning how to do stuff in order to, like, not ever use it once you've learned it, kind of. I don't know. It feels sort of weird. But I know that's, like, a unique thing to, um, chilla games. So that's kind of what me I mean, like, I don't mind it, but it does feel a little weird. Okay, just coffee and steam milk. Just checking. 
Good thing I don't have to wash these. That's nice. There you go. Hey, I'm a private investigator. You spot anything suspicious around the area? There have been numerous reports of people getting harassed. I was wondering if you've seen anything in the store. Nope. Call me if something ever happens. Try closing the store early if you don't want to get in trouble. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll get in trouble if I close early, actually. Like, this isn't- this isn't my store. I don't own it, you know. Sweep the floor. Is there a broom? What's the store doing open? Mr. Private Investigator, the back door was mysteriously open. This is open too. This is also open. Um. See, the thing is, Starbucks has this big map as well. Kind of weird. Did I check the coffee bags? Um, no, I haven't. What is the... Hmm. Where am I supposed to check? Oh, clean equipment. There we go. Sweep the floor. Okay. There we go. Okay. The ones that customers buy. Oh, no, I haven't. I don't know if there's some stuff supposed to. These? What about them? Thinking of a different game? Yeah, I don't know. They seem normal here. Hmm. Oh, over here. The last dirt. Uh oh. It's very dark. Mr. Private Investigator, it's suspicious. What is this? Now, I was carrying a lot of milks, but this has soy milk, isn't it? I, w I didn't have any spilt milk. Oh, well. Oh, and I guess it does look just regular milk. One had supporters on them. Oh, that'd be cute. Oops, okay. Um, oops. Knock, knock. Nope. Still nothing. Okay. Another milk? Who came in here knocking all the milks around? I can't throw them away, okay. Well, I guess I'll just hold on to more milk. Whatever. Already clean the floor, I guess I'm supposed to put these back, maybe? Put broom back. Oh, am I supposed to take these to clean the toilet? No. Okay, I'll just put them back. Yeah, okay. Now what? Another mill. Hmm. 
Are there any other milks around that I need to pick up? The milks were only in the back. Am I supposed to close now or something? Yeah, I think I got all the milks. Hmm. What if I just close the store? Nope, I can't do that. Okay, great. Hmm. What is the point of this back door? Like, you can't even go anywhere unless you like walk through the bushes. It's super weird. Oh, do I take out the trash? No. Um, hmm. I'm not entirely certain what they want me to do. Hmm. Um. Oh, parasocial. Yeah, I want to play that one at some point here. But I know that one's one of the newer ish ones. So I'm kind of trying to get through the older-ish ones first. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, what, Shinkansen is the latest one, I think? There's a new one coming out on Halloween. But, yeah. I think Parasocial was, like, what, the second to the one that before Shinkansen, I think? What am I supposed to do? What am I- I just- I'm walking around with my milks. Oh, I can put them back. Okay, see, before when I grabbed extra milks, they didn't let me put them back. That's why I was confused. <laughs> before when I grabbed extra milks, it made me hold on to them. And when I tried to put them back, I just got even more milk. So if that hadn't happened before, then I would not be confused about the situation now of holding milks in my inventory. <laughs> um, what's going on here? Okay. Nice day at work. Let's leave. Don't gotta get ready or anything, unlike in the convenience store when I had to, like, get dressed and find a flashlight and eat breakfast. No, no, no. No, no, no. We don't do that in this game. We don't do that here. Hurry up and go to our car. That man's not here. Good. Go to work. And thank goodness I don't have to drive there. <laughs> okay. Oh 
my stuff away and talk to Senpai. Will the second Senpai talk to me this time, I wonder? I have to put my stuff away first. Hi, Senpai. Hey, seriously? You're late again. Did you oversleep? I'm so sorry. Or, that's sorry, that's me. I'm so sorry. No, not I'm so sorry. I want you to not be late. This is the second time. I'm sorry. A little more enthusiasm would help, don't you think? Why don't you ask your mama to wake you up? I'm a grown adult, thank you very much. Maybe. I don't know if I am. Um... What about other senpai? Hello, other senpai? I think he's dead in there. Did you see the news story about the um, Bank of America employee? He was 35, but he died of like a heart attack or something because he was working 100 hour work weeks. In May, he was actually looking for a new job because he was like, this one's too stressful. <sighs> Crazy. So, you know, I think my work is stressful sometimes, but, you know, you gotta, gotta be thankful you're not a 100-hour-a-week Bank of America employee. Here's my order. Alright, I like it. Straight to the point. Just a coffee. Nice and simple. I do hate it, though, when baristas, like, complain about people who, um, well, like, on the one hand, sometimes they'll complain about people who just get a coffee because they're like, that's not enough. Like, I'm not going to get much tip out of this or I'm not going to get paid much from this. But most of the time they really like just coffees because um, it's really nice and easy. But if you get a different drink, they're like, I hate that drink. It's so complicated to make. And it's like, um, too bad. That's what I want. I'm sorry. Like, I don't know. What are you just doing there? Oh, he had another thing he wanted. Okay. Oh, a few things. Okay. American scone caramel toffee. Okay. You tip baristas? Uh, honestly, I usually don't tip baristas. That's kind of where I draw the line. Not that, like, I don't think they should be paid more. I just don't have the kind of money for that. Um, I'm also not paid enough for that. What is American Apple? Yeah. Um, and I'm sorry, I wish I could tip baristas. I just, I can't. Um, and I kind of think that if they want to be paid more for their job, uh, that's between them and their employer. So, besides. I also, Starbucks um, at least used to be a pretty good job. Um, Starbucks employees, because I used to go to Starbucks a lot, um, and the baristas, like, knew me pretty well. Um, I would go there to do work, and, um, they, uh, sometimes they offered me free drinks, which was nice. Or, um, if, uh, ah, hey girl, thank you very much. Hmm, haha, -ha. you look impressed. No need to Nihongo Jozumi. I've been living here for more than 15 years. Hey girl, something's not right about this place. I didn't think that because I'm not around town. Something about this store. Maybe because of that guy over there. What guy? What are you talking about, huh? I guess it was just my imagination. Are you haunted by any chance? Well, maybe I am. Haha. Uh -huh. Either way, I'm running late, so I'm gonna have to go. So long. Um, but the priest is really cool. They, um, would, uh... Like, if it were, like, a um, buy one, get one free or buy one, get one half off or something like that, um, since it was just me um, walking in there, they're like, oh, well, you know, normally you'd bring a friend and get it, but that's, you know, we still want you to get the deal because you're, you're cool. So they um, would, uh, would save me the second one. They're like, look, we'll remember that you get a free drink next time um, and we'll give it to you free next time, which was super cool. And sometimes I came there to work and they're like, all right, um, I'd get like a chai. And then um, they're like, okay, you want, like, just, you want one for the road? Okay, he's not even going to talk to me. It's fine. And after I came in, did work, you know, finished my drink, and I leave. After a few hours, they're like, here, take one for the road. And I'm like, no, I'm good. But thanks, though. Um, they're super cool. Um, what was it again? Vanilla chillapuccino. Uh, blended ice, milk, vanilla syrup, and vanilla powder. Okay. Blended ice, milk, and uh, double vanillas. Got it. 
Um, you go, don't go to coffee places. You only tip delivery and full service positions like waiters and haircut. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'll tip waiters and, like, delivery and stuff. And, like, um, if I take, like, Uber or something, I will tip them. But, um, yeah, like, I don't tip baristas or fast food workers. Like, I wish I could, but I, I just can't. And I get they're like, well, then don't get the stuff if you can't tip them. But sometimes, you know, you're, like, in a, you're like waiting around and you're like, what do I do in the meantime? Or sometimes you just really want a coffee. Like, I'm sorry. I just, I wish I could. I just cannot afford that. Um, I just can't. And, um, you know, it happens. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see here. Ice. All right, I need to put it down first and then do the ice. This goes here. And the ice. Okay. Okay. Nice, um, vanilla. I wonder if it matters the order. Vanilla syrup probably first. And then vanilla powder. Okay, that should be correct. But the baristas, um, at least at the Starbucks I always went to, were really happy with their job. They actually really liked it. I mean, it was a really hectic Starbucks, um, but they uh, still liked that they worked for Starbucks. They thought the pay, like, just milk? Is that what that is? This is plus milk. Uh, cold cup, maybe? I don't know what this is supposed to be. Okay. Um, but they, um, and Starbucks also gave them, like, company stock, which was really cool. And, like, I don't know, they were some other milk, huh? Um, they seemed pretty happy with, like, their what their pay was for the job they had. And, um, the, like, benefits that they got. Um, because Starbucks gave pretty good benefits. I just don't know if they still do, but... They did at the time. So, like, they weren't particularly disgruntled workers or anything, because I overheard them, you know, talk all the time and stuff. I knew all their names and everything. And they, they were pretty happy with their job, so... I think, like, I feel I would feel, like, more incentivized to tip if my baristas, you know, didn't like their job. But um, just even talking amongst themselves, they were pretty happy there and thought it was pretty chill, and that was a really good deal. And they were happy with, like, their pay and benefits, so I didn't really, you know, that didn't incentivize me to give them more money. Whoa, who's that? Is that the guy who was just here? Why is he walking like that? That logic only applied to waiters, since the cu customer base used to be the entirety of their pay, and they didn't get a minimum wage. Exactly, exactly. Places that, like, are paid by their employer are and are paid at least minimum wage. At that point, I feel like um, it should be, like, if they don't get paid enough or their benefits aren't good enough, that's between them and their employer to work out. And I'll always, I'll advocate for that. And I'll advocate for, you know, unions. And I, I don't like Starbucks union busting and stuff. But um, when it comes to uh, me tipping, like, if they don't make enough money, that's not on me. Because I already paid enough for the drink. Um you know, the CEOs, higher up execs should be making less probably. Um, and that's their fault, not mine. Um, the burden of them not making enough shouldn't come out of my pocket. And um, that's, you know, oh, whoa, this guy's hitting on us. You're cute. Can I have your number? Uh, man, speaking of, of tipping people, this reminded me of that one I had an Uber driver, not an Uber driver, a... um. I think it was DoorDash I was using at the time, um, a DoorDash driver who delivered my food and then, like, texted me afterwards and, like, asked, like, to go out or whatever. He was like, hey, I know this might be kind of weird, but you're really cute. You want to go out? And I'm like, no, <laughs> this is really weird and inappropriate. <laughs> like, I don't, <laughs> I was like, this is not how you get more tips, buddy. <laughs> Um, stuff costs less because of the tipping system, but that's also no longer true. Yeah, exactly. 
like a Starbucks drink, like if you go there or even any coffee shop because they rival Starbucks prices, it's going to like you want like a grande, like just like latte that's going to cost you over five dollars. And it doesn't cost them five dollars to make. I'll say that much. Although a lot of them, I don't know if they're using fair trade coffee anyway, so maybe it should cost them that much. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I mean, there's already so much, so many issues to fight for. Um, you know, tackling those issues is probably the bigger concern, not um, people paying more tips, to be honest. But take to order anything. Hmm, your heart? What is this guy? I think I'll go with your recommendation. What's your name? Tell me your name. Our recommendation would be the limited time only double chocolate chilla Pacino. I see. What's your phone number? <laughs> this guy, this guy is this is going hard. Your Wendy's meal costs six sixty. Yeah, um, I don't know. In uh in LA things are expensive. <laughs> At least. I don't know what prices are around the country, but um things are expensive out here. <laughs> um, but but even if fast food prices especially have gone up a little bit, like Wendy's might cost more because I don't know if you saw, but they made um, the uh, um, minimum wage for fast food workers $20 an hour last year. Um, and all the news articles were like, oh, it's just going horrible. They don't have enough to pay their employees and fast food prices are going higher and sales are down. Um, but actually recently I saw um, an article that finally said, yeah, actually... Um, it's not really, there's no effect, turns out, um, except for the, uh, you know, on the on the consumer end of things. I mean, things might cost more, but uh, people are still going to these places and the revenue is still good for these places. Um, they haven't lost revenue, uh, just their workers get paid more, which is great. Um, and it really bugged me that there are so many negative articles about it because it's like, I'm sorry that people are getting paid enough. Um, you know, like, if people who own the business have a problem with that, like, that's non-negotiable. <laughs> like, you have to pay people a living wage. That's not negotiable. Um, and, uh, if you, people, you can't make the product affordable and pay your employees a living wage, then that's a problem with your business and your business model. Um, it's very obviously also CEOs and people on the top end keeping way too much for themselves. Uh, I think. I don't know what their books look like, but I suspect. Uh, but, um, you know, if uh, even if they're making very little, they're making a normal salary, but their um, consumers, uh, are the products are, you know, priced too high and um, the uh, employees, they can't pay them that much. If that's the case, um, then uh, yeah, again, bad business model. Something's wrong along the way. They need to re refigure out what they're doing with their business because they should be able to have affordable products and be able to pay their employees. And that's, you know, I, I think they should be able to do that. So for the bigger places at least, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for smaller places, I know it's a little bit harder, um, but uh, they aren't the, uh, they aren't the ones that were the problem and they weren't the ones complaining. So uh, you know, the big restaurants that are complaining and, um, but even smaller restaurants, same thing. Um, a mom and pop place. If you can't pay your employees, then, um, fix your business, do something else. Um, start up small until you can, because it, people deserve to be paid. But, okay. Um, because things are expensive in LA. Um, I'm not good looking, aren't I? I lose words myself. I'm quite popular around here. I mean, he's kind of cute, I guess. I don't like how flat his hair is, though. It's just, I don't know. His head looks a little too round. <laughs> Now's your chance with a star. Just contact me, okay? Um, we can give him a fake phone number. The problem, okay, well, at least I don't have my phone on me. It's in my locker, which is good. The problem with giving guys fake phone numbers is that um, they will call you immediately to test if it's real. And if it's not, then, you know, now things are bad. So let's just get you your drink. What's with the attitude? You'll regret this. I'm going home. You don't want your drink? 
Oh. He's so creepy. Bye. I don't think giving a fake number, like, that's never the way to go. I don't like giving fake numbers. Take the trash out and bust the tables. Gotcha. Trash. Should I bust the tables first? Yeah, I don't have trash on me. It would make sense to bust the tables first. Okay. Um, clearly that's not how we do it. Do I need a cleaning rag for that? Maybe? Yeah, okay. Like, I'm a natural. I know exactly what I need. Once I try to do it and it doesn't work, then I know what to do. <laughs> um, hmm. What's this? A photo. Someone's stalking the place. Or they're maybe just taking a nice photo. I don't know. Oh. Oh over here oh and I am there we go clean 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 when you take out these trashes too no um I don't know if I I guess I bust the tables I mean I don't see any more trash. No, no. That looks clean. Your max wage is fifteen forty, so you can feel that pain, but you make do. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here's the trash. Yeah, I think. I mean, it depends on where you live. You know, like rent in LA is just really, really expensive. I mean, people can make do, but, you know, I mean, there is still, like, I, I'm a big fan of um, people living comfortably. Um, people shouldn't have to live uncomfortably. And again, it's, um, you can make it work. Um, you can pay people well and okay and have good business models and stuff. And i um, pretty sure you can. And if you can't, then... You can, and you just need to fix things. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I forget where you're from, comma. But um, 1540 maybe is okay there. I know a lot of places. What was that noise? Neighbors? Um, but yeah, like rent for my apartment is um, like I have a one bedroom, and rent is uh 2500 a month. So, things are expensive. But of course I make well over minimum wage, so. But it's still a struggle. It's still a struggle. Oops, this is the exit. <gasps> ah! Why does she, why does she act like that? Bro, I just stepped out. Watch where you're going. Jesus, young ones these days. Why are you so creepy? Hi, baby. It's kind of chilly out, I think. I mean, the ground looks wet. And it's nighttime. A little foggy. Shouldn't your baby be wearing clothes, ma'am? I think he's cold. Does he have a little light in there, or is it just the light from up here shining on his head? No. This is covered. What, does he have a little... Does he have a little light in there? Wait. What is this? Ma'am, you're weird. Oh, you own the place you live at, so you, all you have to pay is lot rent, which is 600 That's not bad. That's pretty good. But... I guess it's, you know, not easy to own a place. Oh, 
I remember my first like big girl apartment um on the east coast was um uh was like um 900 a month I think and I remember thinking wow that's expensive <laughs> so little did I know um I remember actually looking at places like in um the bay area and LA and stuff and thinking wow Two thousand plus dollars? That's way out of my price range. Wow, there's no way I could ever could ever afford that. But you know what? That's like even though how much no matter how much I made, like this the thought of paying two thousand dollars was insane. But now that I'm here, that's like uh an apartment on the cheaper end. <laughs> I mean, I guess it depends. There are also worse neighborhoods to live in, um, but I don't want to live in the bad neighborhoods. Or, I mean, I live in a pretty okay neighborhood, pretty safe neighborhood, so. Um, but, uh, you know, there are less safe neighborhoods that I don't really want to live in. And that's on me, but double wide trailer, three bedrooms, and two baths. Oh, it's pretty nice. That's pretty nice for three bedrooms. Hello, senpai. Today is your first closing shift. Oh, have I not been closing? Oh. I didn't know. It kind of just blacked out at the end. <laughs> I have a question. Did you get strange customers around at night? Well, sometimes we do. Just brush it off if they come. Focus on your work. There's plenty to do. Actually, I'm afraid I might be being stalked. Ha! <laughs> you want me to believe someone is interested in the likes of you? I guess I'll come flying to help you if anything ever happens. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Dude, you don't need to insult me like that. Is that his car? Yeah. Get out of here. Calling me ugly? Maybe you're ugly. Screw you. Okay. So glad we're getting along with co-worker senpai. Oh, customers. Sorry, I'm going to the bathroom. Can you order a macchiato for me? Okay. I'll have a cinnamon roll, churros, and a cup of coffee, please. And add whipped cream to it. You're going to eat that much? No wonder you got so fat. So rude. You shouldn't be friends with her. She's mean. Huh? Paying separately? Together is fine. And I'll have a matcha chilla pacino. What? A chilla pacino? You can't be serious. Do you know how cold it is right now? I'll be fine. Oh, and what did Mari want again? Didn't she say she wanted a macchiato? You mean chilla pacino. She's going to catch a cold. No, she won't. You know, I would be fine, but Mari won't be. You didn't hear what she said? What I said earlier, right? Here what? Caramel macchiato hot, please. A hot caramel macchiato. Got it. What am I getting, Mari? She, 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 wanted, she wanted a macchiato. Is that what I'm getting? Hopefully. I don't want to get her the wrong drink. Well, that's one thing that annoyed me about the uh, my baristas. Was, like, I'd be sitting there, you know, like, doing my work. And then someone would come in. I mean, it's winter. And it was, like, you know, like, again, from the northeast. So it was pretty cold. Um, and, um, uh, they, uh, they'd come in and, it was like, you know, order, like, a Frappuccino or an ice drink. And, um, because, you know, sometimes that's what you want, you know? Um, but, uh, but then the baristas, as, like, you know, they would leave. And the baristas would then, like, make fun of them for ordering a cold drink when it's cold out. Um, and I kind of hated that. <laughs> Because then it made me really self-conscious because, like, what if I wanted a cold drink? Like, Because I was going to stay in the store and, um, you know, enjoy my drink and work. What, what if I wanted a cold drink? You know, sometimes you want a cold drink. Um, matcha chill pacino. Let me refresh on what that is. It's some ice powder, ice milk, matcha powder, whipped cream. Okay. Like... You know, sometimes, sometimes you just want a, want a cold drink. Uh, it's here. Who cares the thing? It's weirder for them to care. Yeah, but the thing is, like, for me, like, I kind of hated um, that because, like, you know, I would go back the same place. Like I said, I knew my baristas um you know and they give me stuff and like i kind of i don't want them laughing at me 
you know? Because, like, what if they're going to be mean to me later if they, you know, hate me for ordering a cold drink? Uh, whoops. Wait, what is this other? Oh, the other thing I have is a photo. It's a photo I picked up the other day. Strawberry and cream roll. Okay. Hmm. Over here? Yeah, here it is. Strawberry churro. Um, no, it is over here. I'm just crazy. Here it is. Coffee with whipped cream. Okay, got it, got it. Got it. Can do. Alright, what next? Caramel macchiato. Uh, let me double check on how to make that again. Um, coffee, steamed milk, caramel syrup, and caramel sauce. Okay. Steam milk. Uh, caramel syrup and caramel sauce. it all you guys wanted all right bye bye oh wait they're not leaving they're just sitting there thanks i'll pay you back now oh yay hey thanks good for them hey me uh was the guy on the bus with us looking to totally creepy looking yeah good thing we got off at a different place who knows what he might have- he might have done some harm to us. Hmm, creep on the bus, huh? Yep, but you know what? Sorry, sir, I'm- it's that guy. Can you see my dangerous person, too? You know, the guy outside. That guy? Ah, I could hear him breathing from miles away. You know, some people just breathe loud. Maybe he has a cold. The way he lo looked gave me shivers. You know what? Some people just look creepy. Is he still here? Is he right there? Is that him? What, what if he abducts me? Scary. Is that him? Don't worry, no one wants to kidnap you. I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe he does. You know how they talk about high school girls? What would that supposed to mean? Wait, is she, is she the one they keep calling fat? Don't be like that. You, you need new friends. But seriously though, should we tell the police or something? Well, technically he didn't do anything. And besides, I don't want to get involved in anything creepy. Yeah, it's true. He didn't do anything. You're right. Okay, but don't worry. Don't worry. I'm on the case. I'm on the case. Uh, maybe he's just another weirdo. Sandbag friend. Yeah. Okay. Now they're gone. L latte, please. A latte. That'll be 370 yen. That's cheaper than Starbucks. 370 yen. Let's see. Four, five, six, seven, and a 100 yen. One, two, huh? 200 yens for 270 yen. Can't afford it. Oh well, I guess better luck next time. Oh, Akira's gonna pay the rest. Hmm. But be a good Samaritan. That's what my father always told me. It's cold today, so drink something warm, yeah? For someone like me. Don't mention it. Oh, thank the lord. Oh, by the way, have you seen any ghosts lately? No. I see. You'll be fine then. Okay. I was gonna say, like, maybe he could afford a coffee. I don't know how much our coffees are, but it doesn't have to be a latte. What was that about? I don't know. 
It must be a stress of poverty. Poor guy. Haha, get it? I'm sorry. Oh, I get it now. Sorry, it took me a minute. <laughs> um, I'll have a vanilla latte. Okay. Let's get his latte first. go. There you go. Have a good evening, sir. Don't walk through that man, though. He he paid for your drink. Vanilla latte. Let me just double check. Uh, just vanilla syrup. Okay. I think I could be a good barista. I've got the rhythm down. I can do it. Vanilla syrup. Syrup, syrup, syrup. There you go, buddy. Have a nice day. Or a nice evening. You could have gone out the door that was open. Though, to be fair, I do agree. You should go through the right-hand door. Oh, okay, good. They close on their own. That's fine. <laughs> oh, bus tables. Right. Mm. Need to get my rag. Okay. Yeah, figure these girls didn't clean up. That's fine, though. Like... Honestly, they should probably clean up after themselves, but I don't know how this place is run. Maybe it is my job after all. Who knows? <sighs> okay. Easy. There's a man being creepy outside. Let me put my rag back and then consider. Is he gonna do anything? Or is he at? Is that by the drive-thru? Yeah, it's by drive-thru. It's like just on the other side of this wall, actually. Like right out here. This is the drive-thru window. Hello, sir? What are you doing? Am I supposed to go check? On him? Creepy text. <laughs> the day we first met, yes, at Chilla's. She smiled at me, like a flower. Just thinking about her makes my heart pound. I've never felt this way before. I wonder if she is putting a smile on everyone's face like she does mine. Creepy. Creepy. Oh, I haven't been paying attention to these dates. One of them was November 15th. So now this one's December 5th. So it's been a little while. Okay, this is creepy. Hmm. Doorbell? I'm not expecting anyone. I know her best. Maybe after your mother and father. I'll really be number one in time. She talked to me. She picked up my phone and went out of her way to give it to me. It was the creepy guy from outside with the f f phone flailing. Oh, man. Bro, I didn't like you. Um, I knew she felt the same way I did. We are in love. Today is our anniversary. What? Is it? Are you sure? Wasn't it just like, you mean, you mean our month anniversary? I guess, um, again, I wasn't paying attention to the dates, actually, so I don't know, but... Oh, it's snowing! Yay! Snow. So pretty. If I see that baby again, he better be wearing clothes. It's too cold for, for naked babies.
Hmm. Creepy guy? No creepy guy. Guess we go to work. The car won't start. Have to take the bus. Oh no. Oh, maybe we should just call in to work and say we can't make it and call a mechanic? Like, I don't like the way our car is smoking like that. Um... Where's the bus stop? Clearly not that direction, okay. Out here? Oh, there we go. This way to the bus. Hmm. Oh, here's the bus stop. Perfect. Wait for the bus. Hmm. Now we're on the bus. See who else is on the bus with us. Oh, we can't look behind us. That's comforting. Oh, who's this gentleman? He's wearing a snazzy outfit. Is that the same guy? Not what it looked like you were wearing, sir. Where's my stop? Are we there yet? Why? Why do I hear my heart beats? Why do, why do I hear my heart beats? <laughs> why do I hear my heart beats? I don't like it. Oh, is it? Okay. That man wasn't really that creepy. I mean, he gave me a weird look, but I don't know. I also tried to look behind me. Why are my ears ringing like that? Where's this direction? Where's where's my coffee shop? Oh. I can't believe I work so close to the bus. Why do I drive every day? I should just take the bus. The bus isn't, like, even crowded or anything. Took my stuff away, my stuff away and talked to Senpai. Oh, I get it. That's step one. I only have one Senpai. Okay, what's in this room then, though? Hmm. Wait, but where is Senpai? Hello, are you- okay. Ah! God, you scared the shit out of me. Good thing you're in a bathroom. Leave me alone when I'm in the restroom. God damn it. Get to work. Sorry, I thought you were just cleaning it, man. I don't know. Oh! Hello. Can I take your order? Oh. There it is. Okay. Caramel Macchiato. Okay, I don't remember how to do that. Does the bus still be running after the closing shift? Um, I mean... Maybe. It depends on the bus. You know? It depends on when we close. You know, okay, so that's one thing. Um, I'll keep this guy waiting for a second. So that's one thing. Or I guess I can actually talk while I... Caramel Macchiato, right? Yeah, okay. Steam milk, coffee, caramel syrup, caramel sauce. Okay, it's easy enough. Okay. Um... That's one difference between the East Coast and here that I really, really hated and took me a long time to get used to was um, the coffee shops out here in LA close so much earlier than the East Coast. Like I said, I was a big coffee shop fan. I would go to coffee shops and work like, until kind of late in the evening. Um, and uh, like, um, but out here, I can't do that anymore because they all close so early. Like they close at like seven or eight o'clock. Um, so, you know, uh, do I just leave it here and put the sticker on? Yeah, okay, great. Um, another caramel macchiato, okay. So, oops, uh-oh. 
No, I don't want two soy milks. No one's ever ordered soy here. Can I throw it away? I want to get rid of it. Okay, good. Sorry that I wasted your money store, but I don't want those. Thanks. Um. But yeah, and also they don't really um have uh like seats in the coffee shops out here. A lot of them, I mean, like a lot of them have seating, but it's like outdoor seating. Oh, whoops, whoops, nope, 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 don't want that. Don't want that, don't want that. Come with me, cup. I didn't do the things. Um, it's just outdoor seating, which is fine, but like if it's raining or if it's cold or something, or like um, if... Uh... American scone, caramel toffee, got it. Um, if it's, uh, you know, just like weather, or if it's really, really hot out, like, you might not want to be outside, but most of the seating is outside. If they even have much seating at all. Oh, another one, huh? Um. And also they close really early, and that's kind of disappointing for me. Because, like, sometimes you just want to, you know, be out late. Doing work and stuff. Who's that guy? But, um, and they already closed kind of early out here. They closed at, like, maybe 8 or so. But then, like, with the pandemic, they started closing at, like, 7. Um, and I think they might be back to closing at 8. I think Starbucks closes at 8. And Coffee, Bean, and Tea Leaf closes at, uh, um, at 9. And there are some others that are, like, more local to different places. Those might have different hours, but I don't think so. I think they also close at, like, 8 or 9, which, I don't know, it's just earlier than I'm used to on the East Coast. Like, I'm used to my coffee shops closing at 10, 11, or sometimes even midnight, you know? My expressions seem a bit dour today. Really? I don't know. I know my tracking is weird, so I don't know. Maybe that's it. But, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um... Yeah, it does seem. Let me see if I can reset my tracking, maybe. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know why it's stuck like that. That's kind of weird. I VC face has been really... Um, geez, why is it making that face? That's a very good question. Um, hmm... Uh, let's see. Maybe I just need to reload calibration. Um, BC face has been not super great lately, and I don't know why. It, like, keeps... No, it's still... Why is it doing that? Okay, hold on. I think I need to close out of VC face entirely. Expression detection off? No, I can't do that because then I won't have any expressions. Um, and nothing will move. I can't, I can't do that. Um, I've never streamed like that. Can't. We can't do that. Uh. Uh-oh. I, um... Hmm. Okay. I usually just go to VC face or my desktop, so I hate searching for it in the start menu. Um after all the time I spent trying to get VC face to work right today. And then it still messes up on me. Why is it doing this? Probably some type of update they did at some point that made things better. Uh, okay. It was already doing weird things. Um, hmm. 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 
Let's see here, okay. Okay, my angle might be kind of weird, but... Why is it doing that? Okay, now it's doing something new and weird. Um... Okay, um... What is... <laughs> well, I, uh, sorry, I'm just pretty sure most of the expression detection is based off of the eyebrow tracker. Oh, I don't think so at all. Um... Let's see, uh, I don't know why this is so weird today. Hmm. Um, okay, you know what, we're gonna compromise. Interesting. I was just talking about how it's usually really, really hard for me to trigger the sad expression, and I don't actually use it that often. And it's also not that different from one of my others. But um, for some reason, it's really easy to trigger right now, which is kind of strange. Um, okay. Um, this will probably be better. We just have to. Um, I started using, I, I used to use auto blinks before because it didn't have the link, um, okay, this should be fine again, maybe? Okay, there, um, uh, I'm probably a little big, actually, let's see, let's make me a little, um, smaller? No, no, I want to go this way and then this way, maybe? There we go. That's better. Um, I, uh... Yeah, okay. I like that better. Um, yeah, I um, have to turn off uh, or turn on auto blinks because before it didn't link um, the, uh, I think it's something new-ish from this year from VC Face that it links the blinks together. Before it didn't and I really, really hate, like, I don't know, I'm, I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> so it really bothers me when things are janky with stream, which I know is really rough because um, like that's kind of the way um being a vtuber is <laughs> is in tech technical difficulties and things kind of messing up um and uh i um really really hate that though um especially for you know like you know being a smaller streamer a newer streamer and like not having everything that people you know, bigger streamers have and are able to like invest in their streams and stuff like that. And like, obviously, there's going to be mistakes, but like, I'm such a perfectionist, I can't can't deal with that. Um, and uh, uh, and so one thing that really like made me feel bad was it, like when the you know, only one eye blinks and the other doesn't, or they don't blink at the same time, and like the tracking doesn't work right for both of them, and that kind of always really really bugged me. And so I was like, that's why I can't do, um, can't do blink detections or anything um and i just had auto blink on because i was like i i don't want <laughs> don't want the janky look i can't i can't i know so many other like even big big vtubers like do that right and that's like i guess maybe part of the charm i don't know but i i can't i can't because like if they do it it's charming you know they have like three thousand four thousand viewers that's charming or even like 500 viewers it's charming but um when uh oh yeah i know you always recommend you have these others you recommend i don't they don't do what i want them to do i don't i don't like them i don't like the they're not smooth enough i don't like those i like vc face is still the best um and they added blink like, like the blink detection now or, or, or sorry um they already had that but like linking the blinks together and i was like perfect perfect that's great but um 
Uh, but sometimes it's just, I think it's, um, I don't know what it is, what it uses, if it's like a processor issue or something, when like the CPU is being used elsewhere, it like doesn't, like that's one of the last processes that it's able to run, I guess, maybe in its prioritization or something like that. And it just doesn't detect the blinks very well. Um, and so it just kind of stops. And I don't even know, I guess this time just sleeps. <laughs> Not only that, but the expression tracking also glitched out. I don't know. I don't see why these games should be that demanding, but you know, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Resume. Anyway, so this is like a mixture of Professor Umbridge. It's like Molly Weasley stole Professor Umbridge's outfit. Is what we have going on here. And like, good for her. Did she like kill her first and then steal her clothes or something? Like, is that what happened? And like a green tea latte. And one of those waffles, too. One green tea latte and a waffle. Yes, the green tea latte and waffle here are delicious. I always go for these, too. Glad you like them. Yeah, so I was gonna say. No, thank you for serving them. My son likes them, too. Oh, that's nice. Are you alone? I'll give you this if you like. This rosary bracelet is said to ward off evil. You should keep it. I bought it from an infomercial on TV. They said some amazing things about it. Okay. Can you believe it? For only 9,900 yen. Oh my gosh, really? You paid that much? It's insane. That's insane. That's way too much, man. That's like $100. That's too much. Oh, it's fine. I own a lot of the many. What? How many of these $100 rosaries did you buy? In this day and age, it's so convenient to... I mean, I probably $99.99, right? But like... In this day and age, it's so convenient to buy things through the cell phone. $60 nowadays. Hmm. I mean, this was from a few years ago, anyway. But, is it really that bad? I know it's been going, but... There are only a few presses of buttons away. Oh, ma'am, you need to spend your money better. But I'll take it. Thank you very much for your $100 bracelet. Let me take your drink order. Uh, green tea latte. Okay. I don't think I made a green tea latte yet. No. Vanilla syrup, steamed milk, and matcha powder. Okay. I wonder if it needs to be in that order. Vanilla syrup, steamed milk. Probably should have steamed the milk first, but you know, this is the first one of these I've ever made. So I didn't know. I didn't think it through. American waffle. Okay, uh, that was over here, yes? Yeah. Okay, great. Seventy cents to one hundred yen. Ooh. He's slightly under seventy dollars. It's crazy. Hmm. Yeah, the yens. Is it the dollar going up or the yen going down? I haven't really been paying attention. The yen going down, yeah, that's what I figured. Because I feel like the dollar's been pretty steady compared to the other currencies. But... Um... Oh, hello. Sister, aren't you a cute one? Are you by any chance a model or something? Really? Are you talking to me? Everyone else has, who's come in here has been calling me ugly. Besides that guy who hit on me. But, like, I don't think he actually called me pretty. Sometimes, if people think you're, like, less desirable or, like, th they read you as more desperate for some reason. And, like, I would, you know, maybe he was like that. Because he didn't call me pretty. So he might have been like, oh, you're ugly. You should take anyone. You know, you should be thankful I'm hitting on you. Type of dude. Um, but... You know, but she's saying nice things and she's really pretty. So, no, nothing in particular. 
What a waste. I'm sorry. But you should definitely make use of the style you got. I mean, do you want me to introduce you to my office? Give me your number. Sorry, I'm not sure about that kind of thing. I see. I don't care if you regret it. I'll have a salted caramel mocha, please. Can I give her my number? She was really nice. Okay. Salted caramel mocha. I don't think I made this before either. Coffee, steamed milk, caramel syrup, hazelnut syrup, and chocolate sauce. Maybe I did. Coffee, steamed milk, caramel syrup, hazelnut syrup, chocolate sauce. Okay. No! Ugh. Dang it. Okay. Oh well. At least no one's yelled at me for throwing away soy milks yet, so. Uh. Caramel syrup? Hazelnut syrup? Chocolate sauce. It's ready. Oh yeah, exciting. Food is always good. Hmm. This game is supposedly two hours long. It's already almost been two hours. Oh, here comes our next person. Um, sir, can you push? What? Ew. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Of course you're a name, Mama Taro. Of course you are. Hey, hey, it's so hot today. I'll have a caramel chilla puccino not hot you're crazy excuse me sir could you please put some clothes on put on some clothes and not make a scene eh come on i won't be here for long um what no it would not what am i so legally that's out of the question what what are these answers to Um, uh, maybe we'll try to be nice. And Well, he said it's hot today, so we're just going to say that legally we can't. Oh, hey, Pengsen. He wants you to OT, yeah. Yeah, apparently. Um... Girl, you know a lot about laws and stuff, but I'm a guy, right? So if it's just the top, it should be fine, right? Uh, Penal Code Article 147, I guess. Person who commits an indecent act in public shall be punished by imprisonment with work for not more than six months or a fine of not more than 300,000 yen or by detention or a fine. In this case, even if it does not constitute public indecency, it is an extremely insane act. <laughs> That is out of the ordinary to be naked at such a time of the year, isn't it? In that case, drug use is also suspected, right? I'm going home. Okay, goodbye. That's fine. I mean, like, you just, if you want to stay here, you need to put a shirt on. I don't care if you, you know, don't wear a shirt outside. That's your business. You and the public, I guess. Oh, clean toilet and take out trash. Got it. I know where my toilet supplies. Oh, I guess I'll take out trash first since it's blocking the cleaning closet. Is that stalker around? Hmm. Should probably close that. Clean, 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 clean.
toilet paper ran out. What am I supposed to do about that? I cleaned the toilet. What now? May word rude people in the shop. Um, just a man wiggling without a shirt on. Told him to go put a shirt on due to penal code 147 or 174. And then he left. Super rude. Oh, here's the toilet paper. Sounds like LA. In some places, yeah, in some places. There we go. Gotta go. Uh oh. Why is it creepy? There's a creepy man. Hello? It's a latte, huh? Okay. Sure. Can do. Can do, can do. I guess. It's a pretty easy drink to make, so... Got you. Here you go, dark, mysterious figure. Goodbye. Most states have a place like that. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess any big city, really. I need to serve customers. Oh man, there's another customer, huh? Jeez, okay. Another latte. Oops, I don't know why I got lid. It's fine. No, dang it. Another latte? What is this? Am I in Latte Nightmare? Whoa! What is that? Right, I forgot I'm not in that room right now. <laughs> but there's a whole other room between. Wait, 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 what is going on? Where am I? Can I get in that room yet? No, okay. Can we go outside? Oh, wait, there that's the room I wanted to go in. Whoa! What is going on? Oh, yeah, yeah, finally up in my bed. I wanted to see up here. Oh, it was a nightmare. That's why the giant, like, clock signs were outside. Hmm. Okay, 17th. That's two days later. Now I'm paying attention to the dates. No. 12 days later. What am I saying? <gasps> That's me. Probably. Who's skulking? My stalker. Okay, hold on. I want to uh, move my model a little bit this way. I feel like I'm too far off screen. There we go. That's better. Okay. I guess we'll leave. I don't think there's anything to do in my apartment in this game. Snow? Yep, more snow. So snowy. Once again, that baby better have clothes on it if I see him. What's that noise? Hmm. 
Let's just go to work. Where did my car go? Okay, that's a little weird. That's fine. Is that ladder always there? Oh, right, I have to put my stuff in my locker anyway. Wait, my stuff is already in my locker. Weird, okay. Oh, it's the detective! Hello, sir. My suspicions were true. I'm glad you contacted me. Calling the police won't help. All they'll do is brush things off to lessen their workload, which is why you have people like me. I'll take a look around and see if there's anything I can find. Okay, great. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, was that a customer? Wonderful. 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 Let's get going. Oh, and it's almost Christmas time. It's December 17th. How exciting. I wish we had Christmas decorations up. I love Christmas. Salted caramel mocha here. So delicious. I think you'll love it, senpai. Okay, I guess I'll try that then. One salted caramel mocha. I'll have a dark mocha chip chili puccino. It's interesting that you recommended her a drink. And we're like, oh, this drink is really good here. And then you're ordering something else. Yeah, exactly what I'm saying, Nana. You get it. You get it. Nana, you get it. Sumi, I don't know what's up with her. Oh, Sumika. Yeah, I want to try something different today. I already had one today. Okay, that's fair. But a chili puccino on a day like this, you are so young. Because it's delicious. How would you like to pay your bill? Oh, is today the day of the photo shoot or something? Is a story going to be featured in a newspaper? What? Uh, no, I don't think so. Why? What? But I saw someone outside taking pictures. Oh. Huh? Was he taking pictures of the store? It's a creepy stalker, man. Yeah, the store on you, most likely. Why did you have to say it like that? Damn it, should have done my makeup. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, we'll pay together. The drinks are on me. What? Are you sure? Thank you so much, senpai. I'm in a good mood today. My son used to be a shut-in and, and is in a better mood now that he's going to school. Your son's in middle school, right? Yeah, I just hope he wasn't bullied at school. I didn't have any good memory when I was his age. I don't know, I like middle school. Okay, latte. What, a latte? Oh, that's leftover from last night. Salted caramel mocha. But I, but so it wasn't a dream. I still have the latte sticker. Interesting, interesting. I think I remember how to make a salted caramel mocha. Let me, let me try, let me try. Let me try. Okay, then caramel sauce, caramel syrup, hazelnut syrup, and chocolate sauce. Yes, I did it. At least she's letting you know that someone is stalking you. Yeah, I know, but she doesn't think that. She thinks she should have done her makeup so she can be in the photo shoot. Play lady, read the room. Uh, chocolate chip chili puccino. I forget how to make that one. It's ice and coffee and milk, chocolate sauce and chocolate powder. Okay. Um, coffee. And ice. I haven't made a ice drink in a while, but that's because it's cold out, so people aren't ordering them as much. Coffee and ice. And milk. And chocolate sauce. And chocolate powder. I think. I think that's correct. Can I just throw this one in the trash? No. It's so annoying though.
What if I make an extra latte and just stick it there? I mean, I have the order sticker. What would happen? Well. Oh, but at least I lost the order sticker. That's good. Hmm, interesting. It's you! Okay, you don't have your baby. Good. It's really cold out. Like I said, next time I see that baby, it better be wearing clothes. And this weatherly salted caramel mocha. Okay, I can make that. Everyone's been getting those lately. Caramel syrup, hazelnut syrup, chocolate sauce. It's all interesting that we don't have drinks that come in like different sizes or anything. Oh, that's it. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye, ma'am. Goodbye. Hmm. Anyone coming through the drive-thru? Nope. Okay, I was like, is he there? Nope. I just need it updated. Look at all the things we sell. Hmm. Can't wait till this customer comes in. Come on, ma'am. Come on. Come here. Come here. I'm bored. Hmm. That's strange, ma'am. Oh, I'm sorry. Give me the usual. Uh oh, oh, good. Thank you for telling me what the usual is. Salt Another salted caramel mocha. That's what everyone wants today. Wow. You know, I really like salted caramel mochas, actually. Um, when Starbucks, like, Starbucks put them out, um, and, like, all the other coffee shops, you know, to match Starbucks. When they did the pumpkin spice, um, you know, it was like one on their fall drink lineup, but no one has salted caramel mocha anymore. It's really sad. Like, it's actually just like gone. No one does them. And I miss it. Caramel macchiato. Uh, that's the one with caramel sauce and caramel syrup right yeah okay sea milk caramel sauce okay caramel sauce syrup caramel sauce got it okay Sweet red beans and butter bread. Oh, okay. I right. Uh, I could have sworn. Oh, it's over here. I was like, it's on this side. I know it. There we go. Thank you. That should be it. Hey, are you repairing the store's antenna at this hour? Antenna? No, ma'am. Why? I saw someone on the roof. What's he? What's my stalker doing up on the roof? What? Oh, unless it's the investigator. There shouldn't be anyone on the roof. It could be the investigator. Maybe I should check it out. It could have been my imagination. Anyway, the drink, please. I, yeah, I gave it to you, ma'am. Please. Okay. Let me go. We serve customers. For customers. Can I go out the back door? For customers. Oh, okay. Now it's letting me out. Oops. Yes, I suppose. I really don't want to go on the roof, you know? 
Doesn't feel safe. Oh. Santa's coming down the chimney. I don't want to go down the chimney. Uh, oh, welcome. Um, Gorilla's Gur? Is that it? Thank you. Welcome, 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 Gorilla. Um, I guess I'll go down because I think that's what the game wants me to do, but I really don't want to go down the hole. Yep, a scary game. Uh, this is a weird little nest here. Creepy. What is this? Have to close the store fast. Um, lock the door. Yes, I guess. I don't know where am I. Oh, is this that back door? Oh, this was where I could never get in. Oh, okay. What is this? Okay, I guess not that. Do I throw this stuff out, I guess? Clear out the... I'm, I'm, at least I'm doing the stuff, so... Throw it from across the room. Uh oh. Not fast enough, not fast enough. I never actually closed the store. I don't know what I'm doing. Supposed to, oh, there's some out here. Count products. Um, okay. Three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so over here there's six, ten. And over here there's eleven. Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that, but, but oh, get money. Got the money. What do I do? Put it in here? There we go. Great. Wow, that was really loud. My bad. Um, uh, what do I do? Oh, am I... What am I doing with this? And Am I scanning these products? Is that it? Okay. I think if there's, like, a creepy stalker in the store, I can just call the police and maybe also, like, just leave. Did I lock the door? I've got a scanner and I'll boop you with it. Am I supposed to run away? Can I put this down? No. What am I supposed to do? Can I get my phone? Can I get my things? Can I leave now? Nope. Where's my stuff? My stuff are gone! Oh no. Are my stuff in here? Did he take my stuff? At least I have a screwdriver now. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it, but... Where are my stuff? For some reason, I'm going in the vent. It's taking so long. Oh my goodness. I don't even know. Uh-oh. He's coming. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Climb in the vent. Climb in the vent. It doesn't take this long in real life. In real life, I feel like this goes much faster. Go in the vent. Go in the vent. This would be so hard to climb into, though, in real life. Like, unscrewing the vent would not be a challenge. Climbing into it, though, I feel would be really hard. My car keys. But where'd my car go? 
I remember my car disappeared when I first came in. Oh no, it's the detective! Oh no, oh no! There's my car. Drive off, drive off. I don't know where my phone is. Uh-oh. Thank goodness, at least I don't have to- What? Why did I hit that car? This was not difficult! I was not in control this time. Stealthiness of Crunch Event is such a video game thing. It's a movie thing, I feel like, but... But yeah, it's never, like, quiet or anything. <laughs> Quit or retry? Um, I guess I- what- do I retry what? If I retry, is it from the beginning? Oh, just this very end scene, okay. What am I supposed to do? Am I just supposed to be faster? Is that it? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Uh oh. Oh, this way, this way. I'm losing time. Like, I guess... I don't feel like I'm being faster at all. Maybe there's another way out? I guess so. I didn't see anything, though. Maybe I should just run out the back door. This will probably be the wrong thing to do, but we'll try it again anyway. Maybe it, just to verify it wasn't a speed issue. Not gonna stop and look at him this time. No time, no time. Okay. No, oh, no, these were the only things. Oh, no. Oh, no, never mind. Still crashed anyway. This time I didn't crash into the other car, though. I, it didn't look like it, right? I just crashed in general? Okay. So I have to get out a different way, probably. The vent takes too long. Hmm. Okay, we'll retry. Okay. Go, 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 go. Oh. Well, that was even worse. <laughs> Definitely worse. This goes on for a long time, huh? Hello? Retry. Okay, so not that way. Um, can I go out the... Um... Can I go out the... This window here? No, I can't. Dang it. Okay. Is, is there any other... No. Um... What is there to do? Can I fight him? Or what if I bash him with the broom? No. Um. Uh. I 
don't know. Hmm. Should I take the ladder? What if I smack him with the ladder? Or maybe I shouldn't drive off. Maybe I should go out the out the vent, but then take the bus. What if the bus is still running? Let's try that. Actually, can I take this? I can't take the screwdriver now. Darn it. Okay. I thought maybe I could get a head jump on the situation, but I can't. Okay. Let's try leaving out the vent and then doing something else when we get outside. Okay. Okay, so around a quarter of the way through, he's gonna start jiggling the door. Yeah, okay. So that's regardless of what we do. Once we get to this point, he starts jiggling at that point in time. Um... So then we... Hmm... We go out. And I'm like, what if we just don't... I mean, I don't think... I don't... Do we have our wallet on us, though? Okay, what if I... I'm not even gonna take my car keys. What if we just don't take the car keys? What if we just run away? On foot. I don't want to take the car. No, thank you. Gonna make me take the car, huh? What if I go through the back door again? Take the ladder. And go up to the roof. Nope, I can't. Okay, and I can't even drop the ladder. Okay, now I just have a ladder. It's in my inventory. Don't worry about it. Okay. I want to take everything I can. Yeah. Who knows what I'll need? Tapes? Can I take them? Sure. Why, let's go. I'm taking all my things and we're gonna go. What if I make him a latte? No, okay. Bathroom door is locked. Okay, I feel like this wasn't the move. No, oh, I missed a tape. What does he have in here? Okay. Are these photographs of me? Okay. I never actually looked at that before. What if, what if I decide not to take my car? What if? What if I just don't take my car? Where did my car keys go? Here they are, okay. What if I just don't take my car? What if, what if I just... What if I'd have died in a previous life and no, I shouldn't take my car? Like, what if then? Okay, maybe if I have... Can I just, like, get in... Uh, fine, we'll drive off. I don't want to drive off. The first time I hit that other car on the way out, why? After that, I didn't. What's the difference? 
You know, that's that's what confuses me. So the guy got in my car at the end of time, but I don't understand how else to leave. We tried this door. Is can I go back through? What if I take the ladder into here and climb out to the roof? Where was that? I came in through here when I went down right here. So what if I try to escape from the roof? Because this door, this door's locked. I can't go out the front door. I can't go out this window. So and the vent doesn't work. What if I... I don't know what watching this will do, but... Can I climb back onto the roof? No, I can't. Oh, wait. Yes, I can. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hmm. That's promising. <laughs> Let me just pick up a brick. And, um... Throw it on this man. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, going medieval. Exactly. Classic. Um. Now what? I killed a man. As I picked up the brick, that man looked right at me. If I didn't drop it, I thought he would somehow get inside and kill me. That man looked terrifying. I don't even know him. Why did he- I had no choice. I didn't mean to kill him. I was scared. I ran to the police. I told the police everything that had happened. And the police took me back to the scene. And that man was no longer there. There was no one there. The police took me back home and told me to leave the rest to us. And went back to investigate the scene. It's all over. I'm tired after all that happened. Now I want to rest peacefully at home. Hmm. Yeah, but who knows where the man is? He's still probably gonna stalk us. Who knows? Who knows? What's going on now? Hmm. The cable is acting weird again. I should call the owner. Why do I always have the cup of coffee sitting right in the middle of the table like that? Where's my phone? Down there. Mm -hmm. I guess I gotta go down and meet the creepy man who's stalking me. Did it say what date this is? I mean, I guess it hasn't been that long because it's still snowy. I'm ready for be there to be a jump scare like any minute now. Yes, yeah, is my floor okay?
Ooh, I didn't turn the lights off when I left. <gasps> no. It's a bold move of him to come out when I'm on the phone. Hmm. There's no way to win it's the end, yep. No way to survive. We were just doomed from the start. Hmm. All three endings? Wow, we did it! We got all three endings! <laughs> We'll pretend that, like, I meant to do that. <laughs> pretend I meant it. Hmm. Look at all the people. Oh. Haunted hentai. Chocolate cheeks. Justy heart. Uh, Maxwell. Lisa. Um, Freaky Felix. Sephiroth. Spooktown. Jackie Lanto. Big Small Boys. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, 100% completionist expert. Yeah. Haunted Hentai, apparently. Who knows what that means? <laughs> That'd actually be really funny. A, like, hentai that's, like, cursed. Like, anyone who sees it is cursed. <laughs> there probably is that. It's probably a hentai. <laughs> okay. Next up, we have... Once the sounds are done doing their thing... Come on. Credits are over. Give me the opening screen, please. Come on, game. Stop seeking attention. I'm ready for this to be done now. It gives him a heart attack midway through. Giving you a really embarrassing death. <laughs> no, I feel like it'd be something like something weirder you know like i don't know okay uh we will quit thank you very much um okay go back to this scene here next up we have um uh missing children is up next i'm gonna take a break first though but i want to change the game Missing children, okay. Once again, no one is streaming this, just me, so. Um, let's open up the game. Hmm. Hmm. Good, a nice spooky sound. Great. Um, okay. Oh, whoops. That's what I want, wasn't it? Okay. Uh, great. Perfect. Um, back to here. Okay. And this is next, but um, we're gonna be right back. Um, I'm gonna take a little break for like, um, probably until 8.40 or so, so around nine-ish minutes, um, because that's how I'm gonna have enough energy for more, more games. So be right back. Um, listen to these spooky drones while I'm gone. Be back soon. <laughs> 
Yeah, just do it.
Okay, hello, I am back. I am back. <laughs> Putting my chair in. Okay. Take a drink. Thank you, thank you for the applause. <laughs> um, okay. Um, hmm. Okay. I don't need another drink. Mm. Oh well. <laughs> this is like the same box of Pocky that I've had um, for like, I don't know, a week now? It's been open, so it's kind of stale. And the stale pieces are like kind of stuck at the back of my mouth. <laughs> and it's kind of uncomfortable, but you know, we'll make do. Okay. Um. I think this will be okay. Um, okay. This should be one of the shorter-ish games. Like an hour long or so. We'll see how, how it goes. Um, and then probably one more game after this as well. Okay. Uh, new game. Hello? Plato, it's been a while. Oh, hey. Long time. Yamada, was it? Yep, that's my name. I heard you became a bully detective. I can understand your decision, especially after that incident. I feel for you. Are we a detective type now? Apparently. Apparently a bully detective. We suss out the bullies. But that's what I want to talk to you about this. I believe you can help us out this time because of what you've been through. I'll explain the details in person. I'll be waiting at Nekonome. Nekonome. See you there. Okay. This image needs more zoom. <laughs> yeah, there's like a few, a few too few pixels, I think. We need more. Or I guess even if you zoomed in more, you just get fewer pixels. Um, there's no crouch this time? Okay. Why was there even a crouch last time? To be honest, I, I didn't need it for anything. This is a flashlight, right? Yeah, we'll turn that on. Um, let's see. Oh, I don't like the head bob in these games. I usually don't mind head bob, but, oh, texture quality. In the other games, we were going down real low. This game set it up to 100%, so we'll see how it goes. For a few purposes. <laughs> yeah. Um, brightness. Maybe turn the brightness up. That's very low. I will not be... I usually watch streams in general. I usually, like, 95% of the time watch streams on my phone, including my own pods when I um, cut clips and make TikToks and stuff. So, uh, mobile brightness is real bad on mobile. Mouse sensitivity, I feel like we need to lower this just a little bit. Um, oh, I think all the rest of this is fine. Okay. No. This needs to go down a little lower still. This is okay. Hmm. Just shining a flashlight at this man's face. Thanks for coming, Sato. So, to put it simply, three junior high school students went missing. But we're suspecting that it's not a case of kidnapping. One of the kids' parents overheard their conversation of meeting up on the day they went missing. Funahashi should be able to help you out. He can be quite the bad mouth, but don't be too harsh on him. He should be taking a break at the back there. And one more thing. If you want to save, come talk to me anytime. Isn't this like an hour-long game? Why would I need to save? You're weirdly jolly. 
Ah, whoa, don't talk to me so abruptly. I thought my heart's gonna stop. Dude, you heard me open the door and wander out here and everything. So you're the detective Yamada-san talked about. Not really a detective. I mostly just help out struggling kids in schools. Then people started calling me bully detective. See, bully detective sounds like I'm the bully. Just saying. Is that the twist of this horror game? <laughs> well, whatever it is, I find it very hard to trust a woman who looks so frail to take on a mission like this. Anyhow, Yamada-san told me you know a lot about these kind of these kind of things more than us officers. Have any clues? Hmm, let's see. According to the missing kid's friend, he saw one of the girls communicating via a private online chat. And that girl is Mizuki. So let's go to her house first. If you're really willing to help us out, that is. Yeah, of course I'm willing. Let's go. Look, look how willing I'm in. I'm even so willing I'm going to beat you to the car. We're taking your car, right? Got my flashlight shining on you and everything. Are we going to go? Um, look around. I don't think there's anything to look around for. One thing I've learned in these games so far is that there's not really much to look around for. Unless it specifically tells me I need to click on something. Who's this down here? I have a few questions for you. What are you- why are you- are you in the lollipop guild or something? What's going on here? This windmill toy is weird. No matter how I swing it, it never turns back. It never turns. This isn't so fun. I mean, I don't think you're supposed to swing it. I think you just, it's supposed to be windy. <laughs> yeah, this is something. Why are you wearing a mask? I'm glad you asked. My family and I are struggling with the mask shortage. Could you please, please find me some masks we could use? My family can't live without them. That's why I'm using an actual mask instead so we can save on the stuff. Is this from the pandemic or something? The officers weren't wearing masks at the station. I mean, I guess in Japan they always wore masks. They were sick, so. Okay, well, trash is blocking that way, so I can't go up there. What's over here? Nothing. Just suspicion. This could look sus. I feel like you've seen this mask in a movie. Oh, in an anime. Yeah, it definitely feels... Like something from somewhere, I don't know. A lot more common in the East, yeah. Yeah. Doro? Oh, I don't, I don't think I'm familiar with that one. Hmm. Should we knock at the back door? Like, creepy person? Um... Hey, doggo. He's still breathing. I guess he's just old. Okay, well, at least he's breathing. Whatever he prefers, whatever suits him, I guess. Mask is from a type of play. Yeah. I mean, like, um, yeah, like, uh, Kabuki, is it? Or is that something different? And that's just a word I'm pulling out. <laughs> No. Oh, that's loud. Oh. Hello. Who are you? What do you want from me? If you're here for Mizuki, she's not here. So there's no point of coming inside. Mizuki's gone, and I can't be bothered right now. Wait, you, what? You, you can't be bothered that your kid's missing? Can you please go away? I'm correct. Hooray! You're not even the police. The police is right outside, ma'am. Who do you think you are? The police is right here. Policeman, come talk to this woman, please. Would you come with me? Well, I... I'm not good at this kind of thing. Please. She won't talk unless it's the police. Fine. I understand. Don't blame me if anything happens. Like what? Are you going to shoot her? Please don't. You're Japanese police. Please behave. Ding dong! You again. Oh. 
Looks like you brought an actual officer this time. Still, there's no way I'd let you in. Too bad. We can't help it. For the time being, let's go to Akiko's. Okay. Are we are we going? Hmm. Whoa. This kid lives out in a cave? Where are we at? I thought this was at Kiko's house. Newspaper article number one. Could it be domestic abuse? A death of a middle schooler in town. On September 14th, uh, Takumi Sato. Oh, is that is that our son or something? Our brother? Who? That That's our person. That's Sato. Was found dead in Nagoya City. Aichi. Yeah, Aichi Prefecture. With numerous wounds on his body, police suspects. Police suspect his parent, a single mother, might have been the culprit. Me? Is that me? No, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. There were bullies. It was bullies who did it. It was bullies. It wasn't me. Is there anything over here? That looks weird. Suspicious. But nothing I can click on, so must not be that suspicious. <sighs> what? He wants me to offer something. I don't think I have anything to offer. Can I offer that newspaper article I found on the ground? <laughs> Sorry, I got a cough. Apparently we need an offering to go to Akiko's house. Are you sure this is Akiko's house? Stairs going this way, too. Oh, this is a Kiko's house. <laughs> okay. Mm. Let's circle around. See what we can see. Ooh. Um... Hello? Jeez, don't scare me like that. I thought I was going to strain my back. What are you looking for? I apologize for interrupting. My name is Sato. I've heard Akiko has gone missing and I'm trying to gather evidence. May I have a look inside the house? Oh, oh, is Akiko okay? She was acting very strange yesterday. Oh, I'm anxious now. Please find Akiko. I believe in you. And of course, of course, take a look inside the house as much as you'd like. You're much nicer than um, Ma, someone's house, whoever that was. I forget their name already. Enter through the front door after we look around. Interesting. Oh, and a little creepy back shed, huh? Let's do the shed first. Never mind. Let's do the house first and find the key and then go to the creepy shed. Yes, let's go in. Can't go in that room. Okay, suspicious. Can't go in that room either. Suspicious. Ooh. 
a lot of instant ramen. Hey, it's a microwave dinner I, I ate um, in the convenience store. Okay, this room checks out. Not a great place, but... Can't go upstairs, okay. I guess we're going to go out and talk to the grandma outside. Hmm. Grandma Sama, please tell me what 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 is oh wait, can I go in this door? No. What's up with that locked door that I can't go in? As opposed to all the others, but there's one that tells me to talk to you. Okay, you thought you were straight in your back. What I just missed you earlier. Oh, is that so? I think it's because you have a face that is hard to remember. Oh. By the way, Akiko's room is locked. Do you know where the key is? How would I know? Hmm, let's see. I think I saw something that looks like a key around here. Can't quite remember where, though. Okay. Is this a garden or is it a grave? Because I'm not so sure. Is this the door? Hmm. That is also locked. <clears throat> hmm. Oh! Let's check and make sure it's not the door. I mean, it's probably not the key to this door, but we need to make sure. Okay. Okay. Just checking. Let's go back inside and check out Akiko's room. No, I'm going to use my key. What happened to my key? There we go. Oh, this is the key to the shed. Sure. There are terrible graffiti on the bag. How dare they? <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. Don't know what those say. Can't check in the closet. Fine. Can I not go back outside again? Oh. Where was the phone? Oh, over here. Hello? May I ask who's calling? Although faint, I can hear someone singing. Weird. And now the power's gone out? That's spooky. Let's go talk to Grandma Sama. Hey, your power went out. I think I saw something that was key. Oh, okay. Well, it's fine. It's, I was more concerned about the power going out, but sure. Oh, right. Where's my key? Here we go. Oh, I can this can be an offering at the shrine. Wonderful. Let's go to the shrine now. <laughs> Make our offering. And then maybe maybe <laughs> someone will tell us something. Who is this even a shrine to? Ancestors or some sort of local spirits? I don't think so. Wants me to offer something. Yeah, I have an offering right here. Right here. Yeah, right here. Here. Take it. 
Mm. What a waste of time. Thought I could offer this little amulet, but it doesn't seem like that's the case, unfortunately. Let's go talk to Grandma Sama again. Ma'am. Where'd she go? Is she inside? <gasps> Who are you? Oh, didn't see you there. What's wrong? Do you know where your mother and father are? They... Hmm? They're not... When will they come back? What's that in your hand? D dog. What, dog food? Why do you have that? <clears throat> hey, why don't you come down? Maybe she doesn't want to talk to me anymore. But she isn't too scared. Just kind of lifeless? Hmm. Oh, what if I show her the, the amulet? <clears throat> amulet! Okay, fine. Um... The grandma pack? <laughs> nope. Nope. Nope, oh, nothing else out here. Is it a dead end maybe? Are we are we done here? Um <clears throat> I mean, I don't know what the point in going down to the shrine would be. I guess I could try. But I probably have to get something from a different location, and I'm probably going to use my little talisman amulet thing here <clears throat> at a different location. Yeah, probably use it somewhere else, and I probably get a different offering somewhere else. I mean, I probably want to offer like a coin, right? Like a, I don't know, like ten yen piece or something, right? And then give this to someone who needs something. <clears throat> what if we give the talus the the um amulet to uh, Mizuki's mom, maybe? I don't think she's coming out anymore. If only I had something I could convince her. What if I ring the doorbell with the thing in my hand? You want this lady? Oh, okay, okay. Where did you find this? This is Mizuki's pre precious charm. I see. I guess I have no choice. If it's for Mizuki. Okay, okay, great, great, wonderful, wonderful. Now what? Do I come inside? Yes, okay, great. <coughs> now we can go inside. Okay, nice entrance way. Mizuki, okay. Let's check downstairs first. Oh, is this Mizuki's room? Hmm. Oh, hey, isn't that no horror, no game? Cute idol. Isn't that that same um one from... um? She looks really similar to the one in... uh. Um, the convenience store. 
you know, up on the front window. These are the same assets from the convenience store as well. Seems like you need a password to access it. Looks like Mizuki had a boyfriend. He looked very happy. Her boyfriend's name is Seichiro, okay? Seichiro, okay. Can we put his name in? Where's that coming from? is coming from out here. Oh, do you, Misuki's computer is blah, blah, blah. Do you happen to know the password? Don't know. I would always have to ask Misuki for the password whenever I want to use it. Okay. Stairs. Check this room. Mother, okay. This is the mom's room. Please break up with me. I regret dating Seichiro Kun. It's embarrassing to tell everyone. Seichiro Kun doesn't have the money or the brain. Can't you can't do sports, right? I don't need you in my life. My mom says she should break up with you. Okay, so our pronouns are getting a little caught in translation. But it's a side Mizuki. So she um, is trying to break up with her boyfriend because he doesn't have the money or the brain and he can't do sports. Whoa. Why are you in my room? When did I tell you you can go into my room? Whatever. Come to think of it, Mizuki's been meeting up with her friends recently. I think the last time she went out was with Kanai's house. Why don't you go there instead? Okay. Is this? Okay. I'll go there. Goodbye, ma'am. So can't access it. That's fine. That's fine. Go outside. Okay, come on, buddy. We're going to Kanai's house. A lot to take in here. Okay, seems kind of dull over there. Talk to this person in a minute. Designer Komasan. Talk to this person first. Gardener, I assume? Whoa. Are you okay? Hey, uh. Hey, how's it going? Eh, just pulling weeds. This place looks like a mess. I agree. But this isn't even my place. Then who are you? I'm just a random guy hired by the guy who lives here. I keep getting complaints, though. I work too slow, they say. Why don't you just not do it, then? Eh, they pay me well. How much? 100 yen an hour. That's not enough, buddy. Well, anyway. I want to get my job done fast. I have something for you if you bring me something that can make my life easier. Okay, cool. Um, But I here, here this will make your life easier, buddy. Um, Don't get your work done fast. They pay you too little by the hour. Milk them for as many hours as you take. Does this job actually take two hours? Make it take ten. Okay. Um, unless you have other work you can be doing instead, but I don't know. I think you, just, you shouldn't bother with this. 
Okay, something that can make his life easier. Hmm, wrong house. Well, let's go snooping anyway through the bushes. Oop, nope. Guess not. Okay, that's fine. Something that can make his life easier. Also wrong house. But which house is colonized? What? Excuse me? There's some path up this way I'm supposed to take. Oh, this is a path I can take. Wow, weird. Oh, these are stairs. Let me continue down here and see what there is. More green, shiny stuff. Okay, wow. Kanai lives in a weird place. Just gotta, just gotta point that out. Hmm. Okay, nothing for, for Gardner Son. Nope. Go check around the side, just to be sure. Mm -hmm. We can access the back here. Interesting. Okay. A tight squeeze, but oh no, that we definitely can't circle around. <laughs> My bad. There we go. Got it. All right. <clears throat> hmm, okay. Knock, knock, knock. Ugh, no one's home. Are we sure? This is frustrating. Now what? Nope, nothing to do there. Okay. Jeez, okay. <sighs> Felt like I fell down those stairs. <clears throat> oh, hi. What do you guys want? Kanai's gone missing. Do you happen to know anything about it? I'm also troubled by it. I've no idea. Well, you might find something in the house. Please, come take a look. Okay. Back up. Let's go. Come on, sir. Hurry up. Walk faster. I don't have all day. I'm a bully detective. I have I have investigation to do. No, no. Okay. Hmm. Newspaper article number two. It was suicide. The single mother grieves. A police investigation revealed that the cause of death of Takumi Sato, 12, found in Nagoya City, Aichi Prefecture, on September 14th was, in fact, a suicide. The mother, who has been working hard as a single mother, wept in tears. That's me. We turn off that radio. It's kind of annoying. Thanks.
Um, what am I supposed to do with these? What even are they? Candies or just? I know if you need anything. Okay. Um. It's just a window to darkness or something. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Um. <clears throat> upstairs is this con eyes room no oh, cute boy poster with the, one of those awful chickens hate those chickens it's locked well i have all these little packages here Oh, I wonder if I can give, um, whoa, okay. I wonder if I can give these to the gardener. Will he like them? Oof. Why is it so hard to get down these stairs? Okay. Here, sir. I don't know what these are, but maybe you'll like them. Hey, uh, how's it going? Eh, just pulling weed. Oh, that was me, my bad. This place looks like a mess. I agree. This isn't even my place. Then who are you? I already had this conversation. Hi, do you want these? I have something for you. Oh, okay. Um, no, he doesn't want these. Um, bring his life easier. What if, I wonder if there's anything back at, um, can I not leave? I don't know what to do. So I must have to bring him something, but I don't know what there is to bring. I haven't... I don't know what there is to bring. There's nothing clickable anywhere. Oh, here he is. I was like, where did you go? Um, let's go back to Akiko's house. Okay, I want to see if I can offer these as an offering. They don't feel like a very good offering, but maybe. Like, I can't tell what they are. They kind of look like they might be candies. They could also just be flyers. It was kind of hard to tell. Originally, they looked like flyers, but in my hand, they kind of look like candies. Do you want candies? Here, you, you want this? No? Okay. Oh, what if I give these to the kid? That might be good. Maybe the kid wants candy. Or whatever these are. Or maybe they will tell me something or give me something or something. Here we go. I need the dog food you're holding. If you'd like, could you exchange it for these snacks? Okay, thank you. Hey, by the way, I don't see your grandma around. You know where she went? Um, we we don't have a grandma. Excuse you, evil spirit in the kitchen? Hello? Ok, 
Okay, creepy. Turn that off. Okay. Um, so I guess I go back to Mizuki's house. They have a dog. I didn't particularly want the dog food, but it makes sense, I suppose, that I should have been like, oh, dog food, I should take that to the dog. Is, like, he laying on something? Here you go, boy. Oh, good, who's a good doggy? You don't entirely look like a dog, but that's fine. What if we just follow him? I thought maybe he was laying on something, but there isn't anything here. Ah, we were supposed to follow him. <gasps> Thanks for the food. What the? Excuse me? Can't open it without a key. What even is it? Well, where do I get the key? Dog? Hello? Dog man, please come back. I didn't like the look of you, but I would like a key, please. Um, don't have a password. Oh, what is this? Well, it's probably not a key. What if I give it to the gardener man? Because I can't think of anyone else who needs this a, a box of anything. Let's go back to Kanai's house. Okay. And what do we need in Kanai's house? We needed something to look at something, but I forget what. We need a password for Akiko's... No. Password for Mizuki's house. We need an offering for the shrine at Akiko's. And then at Kanai's, we need something else. I don't know. We need this guy. How's it going? Oh, whoops. I'm not holding the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had this conversation. Why do they make me have that conversation every time? Can't we just have some sort of like, oh, it's, it's hard work, like filler text or something? Here. No. Who wants a box? Do I need to bring it to Kanai's dad? What do I do with this? Oh, whoops, I keep forgetting that front door. Hi, what would you say, sir, if I brought you this box? Let me go back up and see what we needed here. I completely forget Kanai's room already. Right, I need a key. Who, what do I do with this box? Okay. 
Your achievement for traveling many times. Great. Um, what if I try to go to these other houses? With the box. So I need a key for Mizuki's, a key, and a key. so I need a key and a password at Mizuki's house. I need something for the gardener and a key for Kanai's house. And then I need something for the shrine at, um, at Akiko's house. Okay, I guess there's nothing to do here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with my Kamiyama box. Let's go back to Akiko's house, I guess. I mean, and there's also the ability to go back to the police station, so maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. But I want to look around for the ghost grandma. See what's up with that. And there might also be something in here now. Oh, here we go. This goes for the gardener man. Okay. Oh, what is the box an offering? We'll try this. I, I don't know what offering they want at the shrine. Maybe the box? Who knows? Who knows? Hmm. Nope. Okay. That's fine. Just thought I'd try. Who knows? I don't know what they want. But I know I can give this little scythe sickle thing to um to the farmer or not farmer, the gardener man, so let me fall back down the hill as I'm getting out my my little sickle scythe. I don't know I forget which one it is, but here you go, sir. Thanks. Now I can live. Eh. Don't have any money, but here's a toy I found on the ground. This should come in handy. Trust me. A pinwheel. Oh, I can give it to the pinwheel child. I didn't even realize that child needed anything. That makes sense, though. He's not just there for vibes. Okay, and then he's going to give me something. Let's go back to Mizuki's house, officer. Here, child, try this pinwheel. Okay. We need masks? Oh. Wait, is this masks? Here, here. Thanks! Oh, that's masks! Now my family can live in peace. Oh, yeah. I don't get what's so good about this toy, but there you go. Oh, oh, are these offerings at the shrine? Oh, what if these are offerings at the shrine? Let's go to Akiko's again. I'm probably supposed to be collecting one of these pinwheels from every location. Down here. There we go. I don't know. Um, I don't have anything else on me. I don't know what I'm supposed to deliver to anyone else anymore. But I definitely need one more, maybe a blue pinwheel. And I've got everyone from every location but here in the police station. 
Let's go talk to this child again. Hey, you got a pinwheel? No. I need to get to the... Like, what was up with that spooky stuff that happened here? Was that supposed to, like, do anything? Hmm. Let's go around to the back again. Nope. Nope, nothing in here. Okay. Let's go. Man, I don't know the password. I don't have the key for Kanai's house. I don't have the key for Mizuki's house. And I don't have the password for Mizuki's computer. What happens when we go back to the police station? Is there anything back here? Like, um, are you okay? Not really. What happened? I don't know. Just very tired. I'm so tired. I don't even want to look at you. The thing is, I had forgotten to buy some booze. Stores around here close early. So if you and your police friends want me to go away, please bring me a cold one. Thanks. Okay, he needs a beer. Um, do we have beers in here? I assume not, but you know, you never know. Nothing, okay. No beers. I feel like Kanai's dad will have a beer, right? He seems to be pretty chill. Let's go to Kanai's house again. Because I don't know if we want to talk to Mizuki's mom again. And I also don't know... I mean, definitely I don't think there's going to be a beer at uh, Akiko's with the little, little kid. Hey, do you have a beer? I'd like a beer, please. Nope. Hmm. Where are we supposed to find a beer? I have tons of people who want things, or need things, and I don't know where I'm supposed to get them from. I guess we'll go to Akiko's house and see if there's a beer around. I mean, there's a mess in the kitchen, so maybe there's a beer. No. No one even has refrigerators. Hey, do you have a beer, kid? No, okay. It's fine. Like, there's nothing to click on anywhere. I guess we'll go to Mizuki's house. Why not? Hey, 
hear a beer over here? No. Is there anything else down this way? Oh. What's this? I can't walk up those stairs, huh? Okay. Running really doesn't get you anywhere faster. Not really. I mean, like, I guess a little, but I wish the running was a little bit quicker. Just a little bit quicker. Yeah, still nothing back here. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Is there a noise over here? Maybe in the yard. just don't know what to do at this point. I need a key. Or whatever this is. I don't even know. Um. Hmm. Okay, let's go back in. Know the password. What happened to Mizuki's mom? Where did she go? I already got the box from this room. Um. Okay, I'm starting to get a little frustrated. Because I feel like I looked everywhere. Unless I can now go back to Kanai's house and knock on those other doors, but... Because it did let me, and it just said wrong house. I feel like I've clicked on everything else. Let's try that, and then if that doesn't work, um, I think I'm just going to look up a walkthrough on what to do with this part, because I can't... I've clicked on literally everything. I've been to Kanai's room recently, yeah, since my last point where I didn't know what to do, and I couldn't get in the desk. Maybe I can, like, knock on this door and... No. See, because all the other doors, it doesn't give me the opportunity to click on them at all. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna look up a walkthrough. I'm stuck. I'm stuck, unfortunately. I hate to be stuck, but that's the way of it. Uh, missing children walk through. Um, door stuck. Yeah. Um, oh. What? Oh. 
Okay. The one guide I looked up just said, you get the oops wrong direction. The third one men will by picking up the beer that Kanai's father drops on the floor in the kitchen. Did he drop a beer on the floor? I didn't even see. That would also remind me of the convenience store when I couldn't get the beers out of the, um, uh, off of the, out of the refrigerator because they had already dropped on the floor and I didn't realize. That was only a couple moments confusion. Did you drop a beer? How do I get him to drop the beer? Drop your beer. I don't understand. Um... This walkthrough is just, um, for, uh... Um... Just for 100% achievement. I don't care. I just want to... Don't make me go to the fandom.com wiki again. Please don't. Uh, this is such a difficult thing to read. I hate it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Oh, okay. So I thought I did this. All right. Let's see. I think apparently if I go upstairs. Oh, not best viewers again. Go away. Um, okay. If I click on this and then talk to Kanai's father before, I'm assuming before leaving. I hate how when you leave a location, like all everything resets, but it doesn't always. The walkthrough said. Then Sato goes upstairs to see what she can find in the house. She goes into Kanai's room and notices that the desk drawer in her room seems to be locked. Locked. So Sato decides to ask her father if she has the key to the drawer. He claims he doesn't, but tells but does tell Sato that Kanai has the tendency to hide items behind furniture when she was little. While he doesn't know if she still does that but it at least gives Sato a clue to where the key would be. She finds the key behind a potted plant that is close to the closet door near the TV. But upon grabbing it, Sato finds that Kanai's father suddenly disappeared, and the radio starts to play the same gurgle cry from earlier. After turning off the radio, Sato goes to the spot where Kanai's father was standing at, only, okay, and that's where the beer can is. Okay, okay, so then other stuff happens, okay. Can I still get that key? No, I guess I need the dad to tell me. I don't understand. Is there something else in the game that I should have done in order to make this happen? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zuki South dog food. Man wants beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Decides to go to Akiko's house. Sees a newspaper. Knows a path that reads two Jesus statues on it. If Sato goes up to it, she finds all sure wants something. She has nothing to offer. Akiko's house, lady in the garden. Lady, investigate Akiko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sato goes to the front of the house, investigates the place. However, Kiko's room. 
She claims she didn't know where it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's, he school bag lying on a tatami that is covered in graffiti. However, after looking at the school bag, girl will cry. So for the house, she never finds where the telephone will ring. Sato picks it up. Here's stuff. Um, Sato then decides to go back out to investigate. There's a little girl. Tries to talk to her. Reluct she's reluctant to speak. She doesn't seem scared. Sato then goes back outside to investigate the garden shed. She can find a scythe, which is optional to grab, and a omamori that belongs to Mizuki lying on the ground inside the shed. Knowing this, Sato believes she can give it to Mizuki's mother. So yeah, okay. Yep, we did that. Mizuki's mother allows us to inside. Sees a picture hanging on a shelf along with a computer. Yep, yep. Sato then takes a closer look at the picture and notices that it's of her boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking at it, should gurgle cry coming from somewhere inside the house. We'll see a source of radio. After turning it off, Sato can then ask Mizuki's mother if she could give her the password, but Mizuki, Mizuki's mother can't remember it. Thus leading Sato to find the password herself. She heads upstairs to investigate, finds the masks located next to the bed, and note that Mizuki wrote regarding Seichiro. Oh, yeah, okay, after Sato finishes reading the note, Mizuki's mother barges in, angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us to go to Kanai's. Yeah, so we go to Kanai's house. Um, this is another path. So we give the, yeah. Walks up the stairs, knocks on the front door. But then Kanai's father's there, blah, blah, blah. Upon entering how she can read the newspaper. Yes, the newspaper article number two. Yeah, this is the issue here is, um, why... I don't understand. Maybe the radio is supposed to still be on. Let me go somewhere else and come back here. I might need to reset this location. Yeah, let's just go here. Okay, let's go back to Kanai's house. Okay. All right, let's look at the drawer again. Locked, okay. Okay, the radio's still on now. I don't... The walkthrough says he's supposed to tell me that they hide the key. And it's supposed to be behind the plant, closest to the TV. Oh no, it's this plant. Okay. Wow, super weird that he didn't tell me that information. That's not my fault. That's a glitch in the game. That he's supposed to apparently tell me. And I mean, maybe they took it out, but that'd be really weird to do. Huh. Strange. Like, how was I supposed to know to look on the side of the plant? How was I supposed to know that? They were fighting again. They were yelling at each other and I can't sleep. Dad was mad about what Mom made for dinner. I thought it tasted good. Again, I'm honestly t getting tired. Dad was upset about Mom buying a bag online. Why can't she reward herself once in a while? Mom was the loud one this time around. Dad's been drinking recently and is wasting money for God knows what. Then Dad made some excuse about how it's not fun coming back home and how dinner tastes. What is going on? Today's my B-Day. And neither of my parents remember it. 
Not even a single word of celebration, just fighting as always. I'm getting sick of it. What's sickening is that they were angry because of my falling grades. Although it's been on a steady decline, I can still pass, and I'm just below the average. All they want is a reason to fight and complain about each other. Don't they ever get tired of fighting? I feel as if I don't have a home. I started to lock myself up in my room every time one of them comes back. I don't want to hear their voices anymore. Every night, I wish my life was a little happier. Just a little is fine. Today's fight was something else. I overheard something I shouldn't have. They said they wouldn't be here together if I weren't born. They also said that I was born before they married. I'm sure that's what they said. How come they never talk to me about it? I feel unwanted, like I shouldn't exist. I don't feel right to be in this world. I want to hide the key behind a piece of furniture again, but I hid it inside my pillow this time, just so I don't forget. I'll write this down. Mizuki said that I should let the dog handle the hiding, but why trust a dog? Oh, okay. Interesting, interesting. There we go. Okay, so this is the key to the backyard. That's the beer I give to the man. Okay, let's give the beer first. station. Hmm. Okay, um, actually, let's save. Yeah, might as well. Again, doesn't feel like a long enough game, but might as well. Oh, Lord, hallelujah, you are my hero. Here, please take this. I'm sure this is what you were looking for. Thank you so much. Look at him run away. Okay, uh, let's go to Akiko's house and put this at the shrine. Man, I got stuck with that key to Kanai's droid. Dro yeah. The key to Kanai's drawer for so long. I. It really would have been better if the if they like if they changed that to take that part out to where the dad doesn't tell you. Seems to be satisfied. Okay. Um, but if if they took that out and they were like, oh, the dad telling you makes it too easy. Nah, -uh. that's not. Why would I look behind the plant? That wouldn't. And I even kind of looked over there the first time and didn't really see anything. Um, okay, this is the key to the thing in Mizuki's backyard. I think this covers everything. Because so I think this is the last thing in the chain of all the things to do. Maybe it did bug out. Maybe. I'm kind of hoping. Because if they changed it to not have the dad say that line again, I think that's too hard. Um... Because, like, everywhere else really leads you along, but that was kind of out of nowhere. Um. Oh, the password to Mizuki's computer. Okay. So, like I said, I'm ho hoping it bugged out. But then, and if it did, then it's not my fault that I didn't know what to do. All right, over to Mizuki's room. Seems like you need a password, All right? I need to get it out. I don't have enough sense to do that. Um, I guess view email first. The email says, Mizuki, I heard you broke up with your boyfriend. Are you okay? I remember you would tell me how much you love him. I'm a little worried. Talk to me anytime. I would gladly help you out. Yeah, she loves him, but also he doesn't have the money or the brain. And he's not good at sports. Clearly, what's the point of the relationship, you know? Okay. 
Let's view chat then. In a strange chat box, it says, Mizuki, don't forget to bring it. Akiko says, I know. Kanai says, that park, right? Akiko says, don't be late. Okay. What park? What park? Officer, we need to go to the park. The park. Ooh, there you are. Hello. Yes, the park, please. He's just like my chauffeur, really. Got an achievement to go to the park. Oh, whoa, that place looks so cool. Huh. Cool. Cup noodle. Those sounds are spooky. Whoa, this place looks cool. Can we go down the slide? No. Dang it. It's probably up the creepy path is probably where I'm supposed to go. It's usually the case in a horror game. Oh man, I was looking at the um tags for um for the new Chilla's Ark game um that comes out Halloween. And the tags are like crazy. They don't say like horror, or psychological horror or anything. They're all like adventure and and stuff. I don't I forget but it wasn't like what you would expect. I was kind of kind of surprised. I'm, I'm assuming I'm supposed to go down this bridge. What a long bridge. Imagine how disappointed some people would be. What if it's not like a horror game at all? <laughs> that would be really weird. Yeah, I... I mean, but... Uh, yeah, actually... Um, actually, let's look it up right now. Now that now that's on my mind, and this bridge is boring, so we'll take a little bridge break. Um, Jimmu, is it? I think yeah, Jimmu. It is action indie casual adventure RPG short. Uh, okay, but it's a challenging Japanese horror themed boss hunting game that takes place in Japan centuries ago. The game features a non-linear open world with some RPG elements. So it is still horror, but it's interesting that that's not in any of the tags. Action indie casual adventure RPG. I mean, short, fine. Chill those games are short, but... A weird... <laughs> weird subset compared to all the others, you know? Okay, let's continue our bridge walk. Is this where we're supposed to go, or is, are they just, like, trolling us? This is really long and boring. Oh, wait, here we go. I found the children! Are you the children? Who's that other person with you? I'm so glad I found them. I took a breather and left the park. After the incident, I decided to keep in touch with the girls. About Akiko's bully situation, I contacted the parents and the school. It seems like they have found evidence of bullying. It would be nice if the bully ends in bullying ends entirely from there. I also called the 189 to report child neglect. Soon, Akiko and her sister went into temporary custody. A lot of things happened so suddenly. Akiko often tells me everything will be all right, so as long as you're here with me, Sato-san. No, I'm glad we can be so, you know, such a good figure for, for Akiko. Kanai. Her parents seem to have officially divorced. Custody is said to be the mother. I was worried about Kanai's feelings. She looks surprisingly clear. She says she still meets up with her dad often. I'm happy to hear that. As for Mizuki, 
After the incident, she decided to talk to Suichiro again. The strange letter was found to have been sent by her mother and told that, that to Suichiro. Oh, okay. That makes sense. It seems that Mizuki's mother didn't want her to go out with Suichiro because she felt that he's not a good match for her. Yeah, because he doesn't have the money, the brain, or is good at sports. They decided they'd hang out once more now that the misunderstanding has been resolved. Now they are in the process of persuading her mother. It won't be long before the mother accepts them. I don't know. We'll wait and see. I couldn't save my son Takumi then. He's no longer here. How many times have I told myself that? But the truth is, he's been there with me all along. Thanks to Takumi, I was able to find these people, I am certain. I have had, I had many regrets since he died, however. From here on, I will live as if he's living inside me. I looked up at the sky. The same beautiful starry night as the night of the incident. Mom, you did your best. I could hear a slight voice somewhere. This reminds me of the mom from um, Paranorma site, right? The one who lost her son, too. Same vibes, same motivation, I guess you could say. Sort of. I mean, that mom was trying to get all the cursed stones to um, kill kill the cursed bearers to get enough soul drags to, to perform the rite of resurrection to revive her son, but like, you know same motivation <laughs> different goals same motivation I got the good ending yay I don't even know how you get the other endings yay yep yay we did it we did it even though there was a little little glitch we still did it just had to look up the walkthrough a little bit, that's all. I still think it was a bug and not my fault. There's no way I could have known. No way I could have known. Why would I look behind the flower pot? Why would I do- not flower pot, but the plant pot. Why would I do that? Now I want to see other people's playthrough and see if the dad told them where Athena Palace? Wow. Usually you hear it Palace Athena though. But I don't know why you do. It does make sense to put Palace after Athena. But I wonder if everyone else had that same situation or if that was like just me. Like did other people actually have the dad tell them? I'm very curious. Um, let's see. I still think my favorite, I want, still want to play one more game tonight, um, but I still think my favorite of the, um, uh, of the Chilla's Art games is the convenience store so far. Uh, this one might be second place, I think. It played really smooth besides that one little hiccup. Um... Not that spooky, but that's okay. Um, the night shift was, like, had a couple random jump scares. Like, when that, when that mom with the stroller popped out, that was really, that was, that was a jump scare that got me a little bit there. Um, but for the most part, it wasn't that, um, it wasn't spooky. And it was really just, like, it felt more like a cafe simulator. Uh, was like way more elements of that than there were of actual horror in the game. Uh, then um, I feel like the convenience store had more stuff like layered in it or felt like stuff that I could do something about, right? Like it felt like, oh, it's my responsibility. If some guy's stalking me outside, that's not part of my job to fix that. But in the convenience store, if the doors are opening and closing, like, that is part of my job, right? Like, I don't know, that felt a, a little bit. And because the stalker also has less mystery to it, right? Like, especially when, like, very soon I find out who it is, it's the guy I gave the phone to, then it's like, oh, I don't even need to wonder who he is. I know who he is. Um, but in the convenience store, like, on the footage, you see that boy running around, you know? And, like, that, like, little gremlin child. And, like, that's creepy. I don't know who... Who that is you know like it does feel more supernatural um and that's creepier 
So that's why I still like the convenience store the best. The night shift was good. I think I like missing children number two. And then maybe the night shift. And then, um, what were the other? The radio station's still at the bottom. I had d definitely did not like that one. And then, um, actually, no, I really liked, um, convenience store's still better, but, uh, night delivery. I think night delivery might still be above the night shift for me. Um, the suggestion you made on Twitter. Uh, open a list of videos. I don't think I saw that. I'll double check and see. Um, like I said, I've been, um, uh, been, like, out of town and then I wasn't feeling well earlier in the week. So I might have, might have missed that in, in, um, all the, all the, to do of things, but um, let's quit this now. Okay. Want that to go away. Switch over here for a moment. All right, and then we'll switch to our last game. Pull that up. Um, we're doing night security this time. So we've done closing shift, missing children, and on night security. And not to be confused with night delivery that we did last week. Um, hmm. This one should be fine. It's supposed to be an hour and a half, so hopefully it still stays an hour and a half. I kind of want to uh, finish before midnight, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Pull this up. Spooky. Okay, good spooky drones again. Ooh, but they don't exist outside of the game, which is interesting again. Um, okay. Okay. Mm. Sorry, hold on. Why is it not? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna have to switch over to this and see on stream if it pulls it up. Okay, it does. But if I go back, okay, if I go back to OBS, it's fine too. Okay, great. Great, great, great. Um, okay, I'm gonna take another break. Um, a few minutes five minutes or so um uh i need to get a new tea that i've already made already made it's already steeped i just need to heat it up i was smart i i streamlined everything before stream um and then uh maybe get a snack man that's one thing though about this um my current schedule of like starting at like five it means I have to like, eat dinner at four and that's just too early for me to eat dinner. Um, and, uh, so I kind of eat like a bit of a snack sort of, or like half a dinner. Um, and then, uh, but then I get hungry and I get hungry later. Right. Cause I only ate like half a dinner and now I'm hungry again. So, um, I got to find something to munch on. So, um, and get new tea. So I'll be back. I'll be back. Um, shortly I'll pull the game up so you can listen to the low drones audio and, um, be back soon. Be back soon. Be back soon.
Okay, I'm back. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. I need to change the game to uh, night security. There we go. Change my category. Perfect. Okay. Um. Hmm. Back in OBS. Okay, should be all good. I'm also going to munch on my Paku. I had a few pieces of pepperoni, which my stomach is not super happy about. I was like, let's, let's eat some pepperoni real quick, because that was available in the fridge, and then also drink some tea. I have my throat coat tea, because my voice is starting to get a little rough. That used to always be the, um, uh, one of the biggest hindrances for me streaming was, um, or from keeping me streaming like longer, um, or like a lot of days in a row or something was, was my throat. But now that I've been like doing a better job at making sure I'm like drinking tea, enough tea often enough throughout my stream, it's been, it's been a lot better, but, um, you know, and, and making sure I ha always have a good stock of my throat coat tea. Yeah. Um, that's good. So I'm, I'm able to stream for longer, um, which is, which is great. Um, and also taking breaks is super important. I found, um, because I just get very uncomfortable sitting for too many hours in a row. So, um, but, uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm glad I'm figuring out what I need to do and what works for me, um, personally. So, all right. Hope this isn't too loud. It sounds kind of loud to me. Also, like I said, I'm munching on Pocky, so please disregard the munching. Okay. I don't have current save data, so I'm fine. Okay. Night security. Oh. Hey, that's that plant that was in the bathroom. At the convenience store, and I said I have one of those, but it's fake. Oh, well, okay, hold on. Oh, wow, yeah, you don't want that. Turn the brightness up a little again. Um... I'm assuming, yeah, well, yeah, I, I remember it was definitely on. Graphics quality, very low. Well, you can go to medium, maybe. Run. Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. Okay. Um... Oh, whoops, that was sound volume, my bad. Didn't mean to change that. I don't know why I was looking at that and brightness. Oh, no. Brightness is all, all, all the way up. Did I, I didn't move that up, did I? So it just comes like that? You can just make it darker? <laughs> Who would make it darker? Okay, whatever. Um, run. <laughs> yep, well, now I can with the correct key. Okay, apply. This is better. That's what I want, I think. Let's check the... Okay. Ooh, no, 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 no. Still not good. Uh, still a little... much. This is better, okay. Why is there an arrow there if I can't do anything with it? Hello? Well, that's really pretty. These things might help with the motion blur. Um, I mean, I don't really have a problem. I mean, we can turn it on if you want. I usually don't care. Um, 
Which one am I supposed to choose? I don't know, I'm fine. I don't mind the motion blur. I usually don't care about a lot of settings. I just, um, for some reason in Chilla's games, I don't like the, the head, head bob. But normally I don't, I'm not really that picky, actually. Okay, a lot of arrows for things I can't click on. It also limits FPS. Um, I mean, I guess, I mean, I don't need, I don't have, I think it's fine. I'm a little confused. Well, I can't interact with anything. What I'm supposed to do, though, that's my current concern. More than... I'm just saying what it's for, yeah. I usually don't... don't mess with it. I kind of leave whatever... whatever V-Sync's on or off, I usually leave it at whatever the default setting is. It's... Unless I'm, like, getting desperate and trying to figure out what's wrong with graphics or something, but... Um... Oh, okay. So run is also interact. Okay, so... Okay, it's the 23rd. Happy birthday. Okay, I might need to change that setting then. That's mean. That's mean to make run the same button as interact. That's mean. I, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That's not fair. Uh, hold on. Let me let me see. I'm not running right now anyway. Um, they took the Super Mario Bros. control scheme. Yeah, apparently. Um, all right. I I guess. Oh, oops. There we go. Okay. Yeah, okay. I guess we'll leave it at that. Since currently I can't run inside here anyway, so fine. Whatever. Cool. I don't know what that was about. Okay, great. It's someone's birthday. Hooray. Maybe mine. What do we have this buddy for? Jeez. Old fashioned much? Beautiful. Cake. Seven. Okay, so presumably we have a kid who's turning seven. Bathroom. Bedroom. <gasps> Look at the other rooms before we start waking people up. Laundry. Can I do... No. It's like, should I do the laundry? Apparently not. Okay, we're just, we're just looking at people sleep. Great. I was like, are we waking people up? Nope, we're just looking. Oh. What's happening now? I didn't get to look in the closet. In the wardrobe. Okay, it looks like it's time for work or something? I don't know. My, oh, I'm, I don't know. I have a little bit of pocket in there. A broken piece at the bottom of the bag. Hold on. Sorry for any crunching noises. I want my pocket. Oh, it's not, it's not my kid's birthday yet. It's still the 22nd, my bad. I'm 35, I'm a security guard.
Oh yeah. Hockey opening ASMR. <laughs> Hands on the clock point to midnight. Thanks for saying it's midnight like that. <laughs> Check the fire alarms in the back of the rooms and lock the doors. Turn off the lights in the bathrooms. People are still present, send them home. Gotcha. Check the fire alarms. Oh, well, but I thought, well, don't shut the door in my face. I thought I was doing my job. I looked. I looked. Maybe that was someone else's job. I lost contact with Hago Ochigi. Ochigi? Who used to be a security guard for this building. He probably quit. I'm going to rely on you from now on. This company apparently has a rule prohibiting any overtime work past midnight. Check the clock, surveillance monitor, and security details before making your rounds. Best regards from manager Yamamoto. Oh, okay. I gotta check the clock. Did that. Surveillance monitor, security details. Okay. So I can check the monitor first. Like some people are still here. For now, I should go around and lock the door starting from the first floor. Okay. Sounds good. Not that door, apparently. No abnormality. Great. The lights are off. Wonderful. Can I lock these doors now? Wonderful. Brilliant. That room is down. Hey, sorry, sir. You need to go home. Oh, you're a new security guard. Is it that? Is it time already? I guess I'll force the rest of my on my subordinates tomorrow. See ya. Okay. If that's what you have to do, please just leave. Thank you very much. Goodbye, sir. No abnormality. Great. Easy peasy job. Bye, sir. Bathroom, huh? Well, who knows if there's anyone in... Sure sounds like there's someone in there. But apparently nothing I can do about it. Can't lock that door. Hmm. Hmm. This is the elevator next floor. Alright, I guess I'm done on this floor. Sure. Lock the room first. What room? My security room? Did I not lock all these doors? I didn't lock the door inside there. But it's too late now to get in. Um, oh, I need to check here too. Okay. Oh, maybe turn off the lights. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. 
I see. What was that noise? What was that about? They didn't need to make that noise at me. Oh, the light turns green when I can go. Good, good. Is this the handicapped and this is not? I don't understand. Um, floor two, please. There's a lot of floors. But at least it's an easy job. Make sure there's no one in here. Got to do a sweep. Okay. No abnormality. Great. Beautiful. Is this the door I can lock? Nope. Okay. Still people inside. Oh, I completely missed her. What is it? Oh, are you perhaps... Hmm. You're cool. Let's exchange contact information. Can't leave unless you give me your contact information. I promise you won't regret it. Fart weird. Hey, you better not ignore me. Goodbye. Okay. Bye. Jeez. Okay. Whatever. Go away, lady. All right. Wonderful, wonderful. This room. It's so foggy in these rooms. You like can't see the front from the back. This room should be clear. Wonderful. Nothing here, okay. What, who, what do you want? Oh, the security guard? Can you please leave the lights on? I'll turn them off. Okay, apparently I'm good. What happens if I just turn them off on my own? I can just trust that person? It's weird. Okay, fine. Sure, sure. You say so. Okay. Four, three. This room is very dark. Were the lights not off in the other rooms? I think it was fine. It didn't tell me I did anything bad, so... I don't think there's anyone in here. Alright. Good so far. Oops, come on. Okay. Someone's down here. What's on the TV? You better have these done by tomorrow. What are you looking at? Oi, are you listening? Oh, 
Um, okay. I want to check that room again, just real quick, just to be sure. There were a lot of noises. Wait, I didn't want to be in this room. Close the door! There we go, okay. Um. I'll have to check. The fire alarm. Nope, all good. Wonderful. Ladder, kind of creepy, but probably fine. Okay. Great, now check the bathrooms. One just wondered if I. Oh, why'd you turn the lights off? And I see. You were on the floor below this one. Creepy. What is going on here? Okay. Sure. Weird. Oh, is this the one for handicapped people? Um, okay, well I guess that's fine, because I can't do anything about it, so... Oh. What's this place? Was this on the other floors, too? Hmm. What was that? Creepy. There's no one in here. This is definitely the spookiest floor so far. The light at the end of the floor is flickering. Oh, hey. You need to go home. See you again. My boss wants me to finish this work by tomorrow morning. There's no way I can finish all of this. I never thought being a working adult would be this tough. They told me... They even told me to clock out on time. They've got to be kidding me. You're the only one who knows how hard I work overtime every day. Seeing you boosts my mood because it means I can go home. So I guess I'm going home. See you tomorrow. Okay. Please leave. Did I not just see someone back here? I could have sworn. I saw someone else back here, like in this seat. I must be seeing things. I don't think there's anyone else in here. Who's breathing at me? You take your breathing elsewhere. Cluster lights are flickering. I need to replace them. <gasps> Who are you? You need to go home. You can't live here. You need to go, I'm so sorry. I gotta lock the doors first. Then it comes bathroom.
have to replace the fluorescent. Oh, right. The uh, lights are over here, right? Oh, this one. Great. You know, this does not sound like my job. I'm not maintenance. I'm a security guard. Also, they didn't make me go get the ladder from the third floor, which is kind of surprising. That's where the ladder was, right? Third floor? The back room of, of the third floor, I think. Um. Hmm. Four, five. You're thinking about that ladder too? Yeah, yeah. Apparently you can just replace these bulbs from the ground. <laughs> Who knew? Maybe I'm just super tall. Super duper. It's a little dark on this floor. Let's go check the electrical room. Okay. Is it on this floor? Also, why is this floor like concrete? This looks like a basement, but it's on the fifth floor. It's super weird. Great. Glad the electrical room is on this floor. <laughs> Seven foot one, easy. Yeah. Fuse is missing. Okay. I don't know what you want me to do about that. I'm not maintenance. Once again, I am just security. There's no power. Let's find the reason. Okay. It's probably because the fuse is missing. Another lever over there. The fuse is missing. Where is the fuse? I don't know where I'm supposed to get the fuse. I'm not maintenance. Sounds like an entirely different department to me. In fact, I'm probably not even seven foot one, probably seven foot. I'll maybe in here. Love to turn on the lights, but I don't know how. Why do these vending machines have power? You know, that's the real question here. It's the same one as before, except a little blurrier this time. Chiefs. Chief always has the best foods in his vending machine. Well, at least the lights are off, I guess. Sorry, just want to look for the fuse. I'll close the doors later. Where's this creepy place lead? This doesn't feel right. Ooh, this reminds me of the elevator game with cat girls. I want to go down here. I want to go down this way first. Does this go on for forever? Hmm. I'm gonna get so lost in here. Fuse, fuse, fuse. Is there a fuse anywhere? Hello? Oh. Should I even bother exploring the other pathways, or like, what? Hmm. 
Hmm. Maybe they, they probably all lead to the same place. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Floors are soaked in blood. The janitor for this place is getting fired. Yeah. Oh, hello, welcome in, Sleepy Hazard. Um, yeah, the maintenance department here. I mean, again, fixing the lights, that fluorescent ball. Ooh. Hello. There you are. The lights haven't turned on yet, so you can go flip four of the circuit breakers. Me? I'm leaving. Good luck with your job. Thank you, you're supposed to leave. But also, oh wait, are you? I mean, you don't look like you're dressed for maintenance, but maybe, maybe you had an important meeting today. Are you, do you know maintenance? Cause maintenance, maintenance is, this is their job. This isn't, this isn't my job. I'm a security guard person. Um, like I'm not supposed to be changing the light bulbs or like, you know, um, doing the fi fixing the like fuse and you know, the circuits and stuff. That's, that's not, not my job. It's literally not my job. Two. Three. Um, four. Lights turn back on. Hooray! Okay. Person from earlier must have left. I'll confirm it in the surveillance room on this floor. Okay. Let me check the um oh, over here. The fire alarm. Great. Make sure the doors are locked. Beautiful. I'll go in there in a minute. Just need to make sure the other door- <gasps> The door at the hallway is mysteriously gone? Whoa. Pull the fire alarm. I mean, it would definitely get people out. Make my job a little easier. No spooks in the bathroom this time? Okay. Oh, maybe those are my... Am I barefoot? Maybe something followed me out? I don't know. Hmm. We're really lucky. Right, thanks to... Well, we can all leave early. She takes responsibility for everything. But what if Law quits? What? That would be troublesome. If she does, I might end up resenting her. Tube TV, the 90s. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. Aha, you're right. Okay. Yeah, I think it's... I think it is the 90s. But also, I mean, this isn't someone's home. This is... This is security guarding, and honestly, wouldn't surprise me if places still use TVs like this. Yay! Um. For FNAFing. Boyfriend is security guard, right? Oh, yeah. He's pretty good looking, so I made him mine. Eh, but. Wasn't he dating her before? Yeah, everyone knows that. Well, except for the, what, what, so you basically took him by force? That's a terrible way to say it. Well, I basically won him over with my body. Seriously? Anyway, she was no match for me. I'm more charming, so it was inevitable. You're a real devil. Women are more popular when they're devilish. What's going on? Oh, hey, Why am I getting so many camera views? <gasps> oh, no! Your friend just left you to die. 
I'm getting a lot of good camera angles. The old TV's heavy, yeah. Well, I mean, they don't need to move it. They just leave it there and sit there for a million years. Whoa, that squish sound was concerning. That blood is also concerning. Hmm. You know, that is my job as a security guard, to be honest. Oh, can't see those floors. Well, all the other floors look good. Mr. Booked it, yeah. <laughs> she was like, see ya. That moment was caught on the surveillance cameras. In a place like this, I can't believe she's... I'm quitting this job. Okay. Anyway. Um. Track and field, yeah. Okay. Yeah, she definitely... This floor, I think, is next. She definitely ran for it. Not like it did her much good. I don't think. What happened to the one- because the one that got smushed killed was the one that ran to the third floor. Hi, uh, you can go home. Actually, I'm supposed to send people home. I think this is what happened to the one who was still on the sixth floor. <laughs> um, okay. Man, old timey music. I don't know why I closed that. Old timey music is always creepy. Also, wow, we have a lot of vending machines here. <laughs> yep, just casually scraping blood from the floor. Exactly. They see this music is creepy. Old timey music is creepy. Like I feel like I stepped in time. As soon as any like horror movie. If you hear, like, jazz music like this playing, you probably have traveled back in time. Especially because it stopped as soon as I checked the fire alarm. Way creepy. You want coffee from Ben Boss Coffee from Vending Machine? Mm, that does sound good. This is chief coffee. So you are alive. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Alright, well, carry on. Apparently you don't have to leave. So, enjoy. Have a fun evening. Sorry, you're on the night shift too, ma'am. But, you know, we, we gotta do our work. Tough it out. Mm -hmm. Actually, just thinking about being on night shift and talking about vending machine coffee. Coffee and donuts would be really good right now. The switch is missing. It might be nearby. Let's look for it. That's not how that works. Also, some of these floors really should be in the basement. Like, you just don't put these floors on higher up floors. I don't know who thought of that. Man. Oh. Sir. <laughs> I need you to go home. Oh, spooky noise. Thank you for the redeeming. <laughs> This is in the basement. It's the seventh floor! What's his name, do you think? I think it's Charles. Charlie, for short, in the little routine he and his dummy master do. <laughs> or they call ventriloquist. That's it. That's it. I think his name is Charlie. Another ladder. Good to know. But I'm super tall. I'm like seven and a half feet tall, so I don't need a ladder. I don't need that ladder either. So tall. Man, he's so creepy over there. That's his name. <gasps> There's another one of them. Hi. 
Sure. Hire the janitor and the engineer for, <laughs> for making this the basement be on the seventh floor. Yeah, it's true. Oh. Found the one of the buttons. Oh, I'm gonna need more of them, aren't I? Climb down. Catch me, Charlie, too. There's another sign. I don't see any buttons, though. Maybe this was the only button I needed. I mean, because to be fair, I only need to go up. Um, okay. Oh. Look at his poster again. I'll look back in a second. Okay. Okay. Now I can also go down if I wanted. I don't know why I need both buttons, though. Once again. I'm security, not... Not janitor. What about his poster? This one or the other one? He's kind of creepy looking. Retro Ningu something. Oh, is that what it says? I'm not good at, um, uh, katakana. Um, retro doll. Bro, this whole place is pretty retro. I don't know what they are talking about. And it's not like dummies are, like, look any different than this these days. They s Dummy fashion hasn't changed, you know, really when you think about it. That's something interesting to consider. Dummy fashion hasn't changed. Oh. I need to find more. Where do I... Oh, there was another ladder I didn't go up. I don't know oh, I didn't go up this ladder either. Makes sense. Um, I thought I was just super tall that I wouldn't need to go up the ladders, but... Apparently I do. What even is this banner in the middle? Uh, I went up this ladder, yes? Oh, but I, di I didn't find the thing up here. Oh, whoa! There's a third of them! Excuse me, sir. How tall are you? Well, I don't know. I think my character is like seven feet tall. I could change a fluorescent bulb in the ceiling without a ladder. That's how tall I am. So apparently... Bye guys! Have a good night! See you tomorrow! Bye. Sleep well. Bye, Charlie. That was spooky. <sighs> Why are we still in the basement on the eighth floor? This is not where the basement goes. My security doesn't work out. I'm a wrestler. Maybe. Basketball player. Who knows? Tons of opportunities. Why does that door sound like that? Man, the janitors really need to get on this. They need some, like, grease on that door. I... 
There are no fire alarms on the seventh floor, were there? We need to fix that. That doesn't sound like it's up to code at all. How will all the Charlies know if there's a fire? I don't like that door open. Oh! Spooky noise. Thank you for redeeming. <laughs> Nerves of steel. <laughs> Yeah, I, I said this before. I don't, I don't, um, I don't, I'm not a big reactor in spooky games. So I love, I love playing horror games, but I don't do the, like, good screaming stuff that, like, everyone else does. So. Thank you for following. Thank you for following, Sleepy Hazard. All right, I'm supposed to be looking for people to kick out if there are people here. Wow, the kind of vibe of this game has changed so much from the first floors until now. <laughs> to be honest, it feels very different. Very different. Okay, let's check. Check our fire alarm. Um, what's the lore behind the name? Oh, my name? Um, nothing really. Based off of um family names and stuff. Hmm. Um, but my VTuber does have lore, but we're waiting on that. My plan is, um, to do a lore video, um, right now, you can see at the bottom of the screen, I'm raising funds for, um, uh, art for starting soon, um, screen. I had, I made some videos of starting soon stuff, but they, they, I don't know, they weren't very good. And they also, um, like. I don't know, drove my computer crazy when I played them. Uh, and I didn't like starting the stream out with my computer, like, frying. <laughs> well, my fault I couldn't do anything because they died. Everyone disappeared because of them. I didn't do anything wrong. Everything is their fault. Okay, cool. Whatever. Um. Why is it so dark in here? Hello. I cannot see a single thing. Oh, wait. Like, why can't I get out? Oh, spooky noise again. Thank you. Very spooky while I'm stuck in the dark. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, here's the light. I can't. What? This is a stall door. Light. What am I supposed to be doing? Literally can't see anything. Oh, and I, the brightness is already turned up all the way by default. What am I supposed to do? Game bugged? Do you think? I don't... Is that not what it's supposed to do? Hmm. Let me see. I'll look up a walkthrough and double check. Um. Uh. My game bugged the last time I was playing Missing Children and it bugged. Um, what floor was I on? Eight. Um, yeah, okay. She blamed suddenly, like, as I came across as the bathroom. Close the door, but a loud smack on the door is heard, leaving a bloody handprint on it. He goes and continues. Oh. What? Let's see. I guess do I have to quit? I don't. Will I be able to resume? Continue? Um. Oh, floor eight. I'm on eight floor. How is on floor seven? Oh, I right, the, the dummies were on floor seven. Okay, that's fine. 
We'll try this again. We'll try it again. This was pretty simple. It's pretty simple. Um, but anyway. Um, so I want a starting soon, um, screen, like, with art and stuff. Um, probably, like, something, you know, like, um, I don't know what music I'll use, but not lo-fi, but I kind of want, like, a, um, like, lo-fi, um, gif sort of, um, animation. And I want it to have a little bit of lore, um, you know, kind of tease a little bit of lore, um, Lore is always best uh, provided in, in bits and pieces, of course, so you can try and figure things out, <laughs> right? Um, it's our, it's a, it's everyone's civic duty to whether or not he cares. We all have to give Matt Pat something to do if he gets bored, right? That that's like what I believe. So you got to drop some hints at your lore. That's the way it's done, and then um, you uh, and so that's the plan, um. And then I, um, I, okay, let's see how this goes now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Why does it not work? There's supposed to be a bloody handprint on the door. I can't even see the door, man. What do you mean there's a bloody handprint on the door? Okay, well. Um... Okay, I guess we'll try again. I don't want to play the sixth, the seventh floor again. I guess we'll try the seventh floor again and start over on the eighth. Fine, jeez. Yeah, 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 okay. Stupid game. All right. Oh, at least I know what to do. It was creepier the first time I did it. This really ruins with my immersion and my pacing. Um, but anyway, after um, I can get art for a starting soon stream, the next thing I will hopefully, and my goal is kind of to get that done by the end of the year, probably. I don't expect to be able to get that money sooner than that. <laughs> Um, but then after that, I want to, um, raise money again, another $200, I think is what it'll cost based on the artist I kind of have in mind currently, um, for a, um, uh, for a lore video. So, um, that'll have some, uh, light an animations, like, um, scenes again with kind of like a, um, sort of GIF animation, um, with, you know, just, just light, light animation on those. Um, oh, right, it was in one of these rooms. In here, yeah. So just, uh, a lore video that should probably be, like, a few minutes long, not very long. But anyway, but that will tell my character's lore, and it'll be very exciting. And I'm really excited for that. I really, really, I've had lore down since I made this model, like, last October. Oops. Um, so, uh, I'm really, really excited. I've never actually shared the lore at all yet. Those guys are still creepy. Okay. Um, I haven't shared my lore at all yet, um, since, since I made, um, made this channel and made, made this model. So, um, and this character. So I'm kind of excited to get to that part. I'm really excited for a lore video. So. And I also really, really, really want to make better. Like, I was going to just try to learn how to, you know, do art on my own. But that, that'll take too long and it's too hard. So, um, well, I still want to do that. 
I will, I'm trying to like kind of keep an eye out for an artist to do like profile pictures and like banners and stuff like that in the meantime. Oh, I need to close this door. Um, but I, I need, you know, they need to be affordable. I need to like their style and they need to be open for commissions, which is uh, not particularly common. So, um, but I am, I am kind of keeping my eye out. There's like one artist I saw who is open, who, who not, who is not open for, for commissions. And that's the problem. They were very recently. <laughs> Um, but it was not for very long. Um, and, uh, I really like their style, and they were affordable-ish in, like, a price range that I could, that I could reach. But, um, apparently, not the case. <laughs> they are not open for commissions, so. Like, there's nothing I'm supposed to do in here, is there? Is the bloody print in the mirror, maybe? I said it was on the door. Am I not going to be able to finish this game? Maybe if I do change the VC. <laughs> Let's see. Nope. Um, I don't know what to do. Do I have to exit out of the entire game and try loading back in? I'm just trying the 8th floor again. Like, I'm not supposed to do anything with that, am I? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. What if I do the bathrooms first? What if I do that bathroom first? Okay. It worked. It worked. There we go. There's my bloody handprint. That's what I was looking for. Thank you. Okay. Um, now let's lock these doors in this room. It worked. I was really scared I wouldn't get to finish the game and I was sad. But it worked. Thank goodness, okay. Hmm, hold on a second. Wanna fix something here? Oh, I didn't lock this room right. There we go. Okay. Hmm. 
24. Hold on one second. Wanna check something here? Okay. Okay. We're good. All right. Um. What's up? What happened to this vending machine? Why is the higher we go up, the more basementy we not? I guess it's not. I wouldn't say the more basementy we get, but definitely. Continuing with the basement vibes. Uh. That is very uncomfortable. That is making me very uncomfortable. noise is making me very uncomfortable. <laughs> oh. Well, it's done now. <gasps> Excuse me, sir, you have to go home. Yeah? Crap, I fell asleep. It's already this late. What's up with you? You keep coming over and over again. You're standing there every time I wake up. Were you here the whole time? Whatever, do you know where my boss is? Did he leave already? That damn power harasser said he wouldn't leave until everyone else did. I'm leaving too. Okay, well, yeah, time to go home. Bye-bye. Please leave. So I can lock up. Thank you very much. Um, turn out the lights in here. Boop. Hmm. The emergency exit. Oh, is that that thing over here? Hmm, okay. Interesting. Um... Okay. Sure, I'll just go through the weird, creepy maze. Why not? Okay. Sometimes, oops. Sometimes you just do things without knowing what you're doing, really. Um, does the elevator work now? What was the point of that? What? I missed something. I don't know what going in there would do. I'm gonna go back in the maze? What it wasn't even much of a maze. I did did I what did I miss?
Oh, okay. I see, I see. My mistake. Why is that not work? Sorry, sir. I didn't mean to bump into you like that. My bad. I didn't expect anyone else to be here. You know, you have to go home. You have to go home. Everyone has to go home. Nighttime. Go home. Whoa, why does this have lights in the- Why is the whole room upside down? That seems to be incorrect. But no abnormality with the fire alarm. A lot of blood here. That also doesn't seem correct, but you know, I don't know what they do on this floor, to be honest. I don't know what we do in this entire building, actually, so maybe that is correct. I don't really know. I just know the fire alarms. That's all- that's what I do. I just check the fire alarms. I'm just a security guard. What do I know? What do I know? This all seems fine. Why not? We're doing so good. Turn off the light. Yay! That's such a nice, satisfying sound, too. Oh, whoa. Well. <laughs> These are kind of weird, like, glass panes in the elevator. But I feel like the elevator and night delivery had the same thing. Um, 410. Wow, we're almost to the top. We're at 411. We are. We are at the top. We're almost done. Hooray. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This isn't... This isn't right at all. This isn't... This isn't correct. This is wrong. This isn't... This isn't the 11th floor. We're going down. This isn't- this isn't good. This isn't good. This is a mistake. There's an abnormality. There's an abnormality. I don't like that. Is that our blood? That sounds like someone's blood. I don't like it. There's- there's a mistake happening. This is an abnormality. I like to report a security error. Is this the 11th floor? Whoa. Why are all the writings moving? That's kind of weird. Hmm. Okay. They're really cute. Look at how they wiggle. I like it. I want writing that wiggles on my walls. I gotta go on a Zoom meeting? Oh, man, I don't want that. Why is this TV on a rock? Hello, who are you? Oh, I don't like the red light. That's kind of creepy. I don't enjoy. But I do enjoy the wiggling writing. Oh no, that was too much wiggling writing. I don't like it when it overlaps. I don't like that. They ruined it. Oh, closed on its own. Oh, is this the 11th floor? Perfect. Perfect. Let's go check the rooms. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to take a drink of tea first here. <clears throat> okay. Fine. Where's the fire alarm? Oh. Uh-oh. I think we have an abnormality. I don't think the fire alarm is working. No one care? Why can't I even click on it? Did we forget we care about the fire alarms because of all the blood on the walls? Do we just- do we just- I can't even lock the door either. What's up with this? 
I need to do my job. I don't know. Oh, sure. Let me check the fire alarm for- it's also not working in this room, guys. Let me check the bathrooms. Lights are off, I think. There aren't even any lights in the bathroom. There's no light switch, so it all makes sense. Fine. Great. Beautiful. It makes our job easier. Yep, no light switch. No lights. Wonderful. Okay, let's go back into this room. And uh, watch this TV. No cable. Oh. Bloody footprints. Are those ours? No. I wasn't here. Oh, hello, sir. You have to go home. It's time to go home, sir. It's time to go home. You're, I know you're having a, such a great time. Look how happy you are. But you gotta go home. I'm closing up. Hello, do you have a tape for me or something, please? Well, the footprints go over here. Um. But where do they go after that? Oof. Spooky, spooky breathing again. Keeping it. Keeping things very spooky. Oh! A blood, a blood stain lid. I think I should be able to clean this stain. Oh. Okay. Why am I cleaning this stain? Okay, sure. Why not? I washed, washed the blood off the lid. There are two lines drawn on it. Okay. And? It doesn't help me with that. It help me with that. Oh, I should probably put it back. That would make sense. Oh! Oh, I see. 9.30. 9.30, huh? What's the... What's the point of 9.30? Why? Why 9.30? How does that help me with this situation? Wait, there are two fire alarms in this room. Whoa, crazy, and they're both broken. Nine thirty. Maybe this one goes at thirty. This one goes to nine. Maybe nine six nine thirty. Um, nine thirty. Nine thirty. 
What is the significance of 930? Oh, wait, is it 929? There's a circle down there. Maybe it's indicating. Nine. Well, there's circles on all of them, though. That's not right. Oh, 9060. Maybe. Ninety sixty, ninety sixty. Ninety sixty. Maybe it needs to be sixty ninety because the little hand is is ninety. So maybe that means we need the little hand to be on the little circle to be on ninety, and the big circle to be on sixty. That was it. Okay, that makes sense. Um, what did that do, though? Oh, I guess I can open it, right? Gotcha. Duh. Okay. Videotape in. Watch it. Movie time. A very interesting movie, I must say. Oh, now things are getting exciting. Oh, best viewers go away. What an interesting username, though. Obligatory courtship? It's weird. Okay. It's not a very interesting movie. When's the jump scare? They're really like luring you into a sense of calm. They're probably expecting some sort of huge jump scare. Or not expecting but planning. No, I, I guess not. I can't stay here anymore. Let's get out of here. What? That was that out of everything else was the deciding factor that meant I had to leave. Die once, okay. Great, do I need to go out of this door? Oh. 
No. Nope. That doesn't seem like the right thing to do. Seem like the wrong thing. But we are getting some sort of cutscene out of it, so... Progress. Okay, we got an ending. Not the good ending, I assume. <laughs> but hey. We got the credits. And that's what matters. Chance Rose. Jinja. Fire supporters. What names do we have here? Vampira. Sleepy Tor. Hmm. Fallout Thriller. Hmm. What names do we have here? Oh, well. Actual Fork. Uh. 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 Moo Moo. Um. Um. Wine Cherry. Phantasmal. Road Base. Ghost Gateau. Uh, Alice, Kim, huh? Oh. Hmm. Look at all the localization. Sound effects. And then the Patreon. Oh, and there's their little mouse thing. That's not a mouse. A chinchilla? Is that what it is? You know what? That actually might make sense. Chinchilla, because the chillas are. That's what it is. That's what it is. I remember thinking in the convenience store, I remember seeing it and was like, what is that? It's not a mouse. But it's like a mouse-like thing. It all makes sense now. Yeah, yeah, it all makes sense. I got ending one. Didn't seem like a very good ending. But it's our ending. I do not fully understand what is happening. Ending one, it says. Okay, cool. Um, anyway, that is it for this game. And I think that'll be it for the stream tonight. Let me switch back to the other scene. Um, yeah, so, um, three games, three more Chilla's Art games that we tried. Um, uh, Closing Shift, Missing Children, and, um, Night Security. This one was pretty good, too. You know, I actually liked Missing Children and Night Security both better than Closing Shift, which surprised me. I started with Closing Shift because I thought I would like it the best, but I actually, um, not for a horror game. Like, it was fun, kind of. I liked making the coffees, but um, it wasn't scary, really, you know? Like, I don't know. I wasn't really that into that one. Um, it feels very, like, typical of a, like, Chilla's game where you have to, like, do little tasks but i think like this one you know what this night security actually feels a lot like night delivery 
to me in a lot of ways. Um, but I think I like, I like, I actually like night delivery better because I liked all the characters that you get to like encounter. Um, that, that felt, I don't know, kind of fun. This, um, you know, there were just some spooky things that happened, but, um, I don't know. Didn't really, um, I mean, I might appreciate better if I really dissected the lore of it, I think. Um, but, eh. <laughs> I don't know. Um, some of the things just feel like kind of random, like those dummies in there and, and like the printer that was just printing like mad. I mean, I guess maybe the printer had to do with the guy who was still working there, but I don't know. Some of the things just feel like they're set up to spook you, but don't really feel like they contribute. You know, and they're just there for the um for the sake of it. Like, um oh, I forget what the word I'm looking for is, but you know, they're just they're just meant to meant to be a spook, meant to set the atmosphere, but I feel like it needs to have a larger contribution, kind of. Um which I didn't really get. Gratuitous, I guess, maybe, um is sort of the word I'm looking for. Um, but I did like missing children, I think, a lot. And then um this one was fun too though this one was fun too again uh, i think i like the convenience store better but um and i think i uh, this one's really like i said really similar to night delivery but i do like night delivery a little bit better than this one missing children uh i, I have to really think about if i like missing children or night delivery better they're like the very very similar tier to me i think um and of course the radio station is at the very bottom if for no other reason than having to drive that truck, but also um, because I felt like it was really hard direction-wise to know what I was supposed to do. That game did not prompt you very well. But anyway, we'll rank them all later when we're, we're done playing through them. But um, And that'll be probably more next Saturday, most likely. Um, I'll play this. Definitely, definitely more horror games next Saturday. Um, and every Saturday for this foreseeable future, hopefully. Um, next Saturday, more horror games and, um, probably more Chilla's art games, but we'll see. I might, maybe I won't take a break from them, you know, and do something else. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but, uh, tomorrow I'll be back with, um, Life is Strange. I'll probably start stream a little early, uh, probably around three o'clock Pacific, maybe something like that. Um, I think. Uh, we're doing Before the Storm um, is the Life is Strange game that we're on. Um, and uh, I want to I want to make sure I can get enough like hours in. on that. I really I really I'm determined to finish them before uh, the new game Double Exposure comes out on October 15th. So I need to get through three more Life is Strange games and we're going to we're going to barrel our way through it. We're going to do it. We're going to I'm determined. It's my mission. Um, and, uh, we're behind, so, um, yeah, you meant before the storm, yeah, um, so, uh, so, yeah, so that's what, um, I'm gonna play, yeah, tomorrow, um, and, uh, um, Again, starting kind of early because I want it to be a longer stream because I want to get a good ways into it, I think. Um, it'd be great if I could finish it by the end of this week. Um, seems unlikely, but we can try. If not, I should be able to finish it next Sunday is kind of the plan. Um, before the storm is shorter, um, like I was saying at the beginning of the stream, the first game is the longest. Life is Strange 2 is almost as long, but not quite. Um, and then Before the Storm and True Colors are both the like tied for shortest at least accord according to like how long to beat.com or whatever it's called um so they say it's 13 hours it should probably take me around 18 ish hours probably um 18 to 19 so but maybe i can be faster maybe i can be super speedy right like sonic <laughs> um but but not too speedy because i still need to like click on everything and get the full experience so we'll see. We'll see how it goes, but probably three o'clock tomorrow, maybe even earlier if I can. We'll see how productive I am tomorrow morning. 
Um, I still have some more TikToks I want to make and post. And, um, you know, if I can ever get around to getting those YouTube videos up, we'll see. But, um, but yeah, going to bed, have a good night. Yeah, yeah. Speed walking. Yeah, speed walking. Exactly. We're going to speed walk these games. I love that. Thank you. Thank you for providing me with that terminology. That's what I want. We're speed walking through the Life is Strange games. Um, but yeah, so three o'clock tomorrow Pacific um, is the uh, is the idea. Maybe earlier if I can, but probably probably around three. Um, and it'll be a longer stream. Go until like at least nine again. So yeah. Um, all right. Thanks everyone for for hanging out, keeping me company, and um, enjoying the spooks with me. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the games we played tonight. Um, and again, sorry I'm not a very good reactioner for horror games. I just love horror games, uh, even if I don't. I don't do a good job. Like I said, other streamers can like fake good screams and reactions and stuff, but I just can't. I don't know. I'm not as good of an actor as they are, at least horror wise. So, eh, you know, you get what you get. <laughs> this, is, this is the reaction you get here at this channel. And that's just the way it's going to be. Um, but hopefully it's still spooky for everyone and everyone can still enjoy a good spook from watching. Um and uh, yeah, so thanks for hanging out. Thanks for chatting. Thanks for following and, and all that. Or lurking if you lurked. That's fine. I appreciate that too. Um, and uh, yeah, I just like everyone hanging out with me, playing spooky games on a Saturday. I love my, I love, I love my horror games. So yeah, um, that's all. So have a good night. I'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully I'll see you there. Goodbye.